Oh. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Is everyone, Hello. How is everyone doing? Hello. I'm not used to not having an intro, damn it. <laughs> no intro. <laughs> Where no was intro. the countdown? Three, two, one. You're live. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, I've... Um, <laughs> I got a few things I'm kind of working through. Um, the computer that I'm Life using issues. Is, is 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 struggling. So I, I'm watching the CPU go <laughs> on my stream computer. Oh. So this is the thing: is it's just when you start to think you kind of get into the point where everything's good, the computers are good, then all of a sudden it's like new things come along and the computers start to get that much older, and you're like, shit, shit, yeah. <laughs> shit. It was working. I had it because I had the laptop. Um, that someone sent me and it was working for a while and then it just stopped. I was like, well, you, but you're working. Why are you doing this to me? I know, I know. And it's like, it's like XSplit on this computer is totally different to the XSplit that seems to be on this computer. Even though they're exactly the same one, the one on my gaming computer works really, really well. And the one on my streaming PC, on my streaming PC works great when I'm streaming. But when I want to do a podcast, it does it just doesn't want to do stuff, so it's do, it's driving me crazy at the moment. Absolutely, it surprisingly crazy. worked for me when I was streaming earlier today. Like I've I've had okay. problems with it for weeks, and just mm. randomly started working and not being problematic. So I made the most of it. It probably start <laughs> start breaking again tomorrow. <laughs> it's just, just it's, accept it while it works. It's like it's oh, such yeah. a it's such a random program though. Because like I said, like on my on my gaming PC. Um, just for anyone that's watching for podcasts, well, on my gaming PC, there's something called Game Source, okay? And when pe- we do a video conference through Zoom, we all have individual live video video feeds. Now, XSplit, the reason we pay for it is because it can pick up everyone's individual video feed. So if Moist leaves the call, he will disappear, but the, s- the screen continues. There's no problem. So if he accidentally crashed or whatever, it would be not a problem. It would go on. The problem happens... Um, with the the streaming PC is that it won't find the individual video feeds. It just finds one video feed, which means I have to do everything like I used to do, which was when we did like Skype calls, where you have to individually cut out everyone on a page. The problem with that is, is, is that the minute that somebody leaves or crashes, it rearranges just like anything yeah, else. Demonstrate. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and it fucks up the screen, so then we have to temper it. It's an annoyance, um, and that's the reason why I pay a little bit extra for XSplit. But the problem that we're having, I'm paid for Zoom and XSplit. The problem for some reason is, is this one just won't find the video feeds. It just keeps finding one source. So anyway, trying to explain that to um, the, the guys at Zoom and XSplit is going to be fun over the next couple of days, I think. Um, yeah, thank you for that one. I appreciate that. <laughs> one thing, have you, have you tried... Turning on and off. No, have you tried mm. like running it as? Is it running as admin on both? Is that sometimes on admin? Like, that might be definitely running yeah, on admin. Okay. Yeah, definitely running on admin. But um, I don't understand it. Like even when I didn't run, even when I don't run it on admin on the other computer, it doesn't matter. It still works. It still yeah. finds it. On this one, for some reason, it just it it flat out refuses to find it. So there must be something in the settings somewhere that I've ticked or unticked. But um, yeah, it's driving me crazy. But PCs anyway, so much fun. PC, PCs, PCs, podcasts. I mean, it does make PC you... PC I mean, master race. <laughs> like Moise said last week, you know, when he went to BritizenCon and, you know, it makes you appreciate... Or someone said that they makes you appreciate the you know what the guys do at cig and stuff a little bit more you know all these kind of live shows and stuff and how much hard how hard it is you know if the minute you start uh, and, to try and do oh because yeah. that's the funny thing people go well you, you've you've done it a lot of times by now surely you know how to set it up so that it's working and it, and we do we do like we do the same show every fucking week and it's all set up and yet yeah. it doesn't matter you turn it on and it's like random as fuck it's like well this just decides not to work this and then all someone goes your audio is not as loud as it was it's like well, yeah but I haven't changed anything yeah, so, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I literally just switched. All I did was switch on the computer. That's the only. It's a different day today for some reason. Different day. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm not feeling it today. And you're like, thanks, computer. Or it's the Windows update. Like, Ms. told me there's another Windows update coming, which will undoubtedly reset everything. So um, maybe yeah, that's it. Maybe your PC just like don't like days of the week as well. It's like a Monday. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. So I'm just going to make a note. So um, T-shirt-wise today, um, I'm rocking my Marvel T-shirt. and these. Two oh, you're letting the side down. Where's your asylum I, one? I don't have... You've got all of my asylum T-shirts. Oh, <laughs> so you've got one. 
I haven't got any. Well, I've got my own one I made from a different from a UK supplier, but I don't like. I don't think it's as good as the public tea ones which you boys bought. So I think they're much better. Mm. But I'll have to get one. But no, I'm rocking this because I went to see today the latest Marvel film, and I'm just going to say it was fucking awesome. <laughs> absolutely amazing if you go into my discord you'll see it it was amazing so go watch it if, you, if you've never seen if i mean obviously if you don't like marvel fine don't watch it but it was good oh by the way i'm, I'm getting i'm hearing myself again is that through someone's no, mic or is it just through? me my open back headphones it's all right it's fine Maybe. it's all good um but yeah no it was good if you've not seen infinity wars if you like the whole avengers stories and all that stuff definitely worth going to watch it was considering all of the movie stars that are in that film you know what i mean all the different characters that are in that film and how they've managed to piece it together and make the 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 story flow the way they did massive credit to them yeah anyway i don't want to spoil it it, it, i'll I'll be the judge i think because i typically don't like comic book movies unless they are really awesome so it's really awesome is chat broken for anybody else or just me um wait hang on I can't type. I can type. I think just nobody loves us. No, I can't even type. It's weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks, Twitch chat. No, no, neither can I. Neither can I. Oh. Thanks, Twitch chat. Thanks, Twitch. (laughs) Well, guys, if you're trying to chat in chat in chat, (laughs) chat (laughs) chat. feel free to join us on Discord. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> exclamation discord you can't join my discord type in chat so Holy i did think shit. we were just getting no love at all but it, yeah it literally can't press enter to to type in chat <laughs> so fucked up. okay so yeah twi- mr coffee just messaged me to say twitch chat is bored okay guys if you uh if you do want to chat feel free to head over to uh a little bit of madness's discord uh, we should be in the general chat there if you don't have the link uh, i i'm assuming it's we'll below twi- the video can... right <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah kill, so chat's not working as well. Good eat. Good eat to no. know. In anyone's channel, anywhere. The few, however, is dropping bitties, <laughs> I think. <laughs> thank you for all the bitties and thank you for everything, what everyone's doing. But we, we will continue and hopefully Twitch will sort this shit out. Keep chatting to us from whatever media you can. Tell us what's up. Ask us any questions uh, if you want to. I'll put, it's fine. I'll put out a, we I'll will... put out a tw- tweet now with the link so people can. Yeah, yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get it going, baby. We'll get it all going. Don't worry, guys. We will find a way to hear your comments and to chat to you guys, and we'll just carry Probably on. Probably Twitch Hopefully. will fix it soon. Twitch, so, it yeah. will fix itself. They're being, they're being. What's it, what's it called when people get, like try and hack the system or something? They keep bombarding it with things to break oh, it. What's that called again? Data, that's no, not data mine, is it? That's the one. That's it. What you said? Uh, yeah, whatever you said. Okay, we'll just keep. We'll <laughs> there we go. I just, I just tweeted the link. Feel free to chat in uh, Discord chat, guys. Yeah. Wow. Is it has it been like this all day then? It hasn't. It's just just literally, so, it's it's literally just started. Oh, thanks, I was going to say mark, question mark if you want to do any questions for that one. <laughs> um, I also did have a link for Britis and Con um, have asked, and I'll, if I can get it up by the end of the show, we will. But um, basically, they've got a feedback forum ready for ready for organising Britis and Con 2019. So I was going to put a link in chat so people can go and fill that out, <laughs> but I can't do that either. So. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll, we'll, we we'll, we'll entertain as best we can, guys. Um, and don't worry, we'll get to you guys as soon as you can. So um, just yeah, that was my my week has been prepping for a baby, doing lots of house stuff, playing some game. I played three point one point four when it was first kind of like pretty much done. Um, I was one of the, got, got in, tested it out the PTU, crashed within five seconds of me first doing it, which was kind of usual. But then it started to stabilize and. Um, it was okay. You know, the flight model was okay. And I had a good combat, you know, I fought one of my old rivals, which was fun. Um, and it was good. I mean, just the missions are a bit boring and it's, it's still, I still find it a bit tricky to try and figure out what I'm doing. And, you know, I, I you know, there's a few kind of grumbles I have with generally, but you know, it, it, it's just at the moment, it just feels like it just ne- needs a few more gameplay mechanics you know like we talk about the mining will be a great help i think and um you know to the game to have something else to do for me personally but uh, yeah that's my week and obviously watching the marvel movie was amazing how about you uh, nice um personally i did D on friday 
which was good fun. So we finally kicked off our main campaign now. Um, we were missing Des Malius, but other than that, um, yes, everybody's now starting on a goblin. We had got ambushed by goblins and stuff, so that was a good little start. No one died, which is a miracle. Um, <laughs> apart from no. goblins died, but no player died. Um, I, I think I'm going to ramp up the difficulty for next time. We'll see if we can get a kill. <laughs> within the first couple of weeks <laughs> uh, so no other than that I um, I didn't do paint print on the roll last week because Des was away and I had to do some more setup for D&D, &D. there's it's a lot of setting up I'm hoping that um, some early setup will mean that I can ease off a little bit later on because it's taken up a lot of time but uh, yeah other than that um, that's all I think I've done since last week recover from Britain and con basically <laughs> get some sleep back <laughs> yeah yeah I, th I think there's a few other people someone else at the end here has probably been recovering <laughs> trying to recover I'm hey. so tired <laughs> so I, I can't tell is that actually moist noodle or is that moist noodles I know is, uh, is it him or is it someone in disguise moist <laughs> oh it's Italian it's the Italian moist noodle in moist noodle's Italian, Italian cousin <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti noodle well, <laughs> spaghetti <racist>. moist yeah <laughs> I, 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 I am so tired how is that so racist? incredibly tired <laughs> hey it's spaghetti. not all about spaghetti okay they have meatballs as well you know yeah, it's all about the meatballs. Hey. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> Tag Taglatelli, Taglatelli. Then what about Moist Taglatelli? We didn't we no. go to an Italian restaurant? I did. I took you to. We took you. Oh, yeah, the we went to an Italian. Yeah, I mean, to Carluccio's. Yeah, I took you to um, um, the company that my wife used to work for. Back in the day. I, I always I always judge a restaurant by its toilets, and that had a. Okay media toilet <laughs> well it's a chain now it's a chain now so yeah, you know, yeah. It, they don't have the same standards that they used to have slacking Clearly. slacking but they have a very uh, nice Alaria, front Alaria wants to know why you look like mario mm. how dare <laughs> you how dare <laughs> you that's rude it's, it's, it's got, like more it's it's like, you actually that's what you need a little player. See, it's like he's more like a, a li, li, um what's the mario and luigi he looks more like luigi i think with slimmer you know slimmer kind of taller oh that's, mean, yeah he's, he's, tall. Tall. he's, the, he's, yeah, he's luigi right he's not there. mario he's not mario <laughs> he's, he's not the fat and short like mario is he's luigi <sighs> Clean the toilets. We, we just got all going to talk like this. Rather than this, it's going to be this. Isn't it that? Hey, now. <laughs> That's bullying. <Stop laughs> yes, don't be nasty, oh, to Nicole. I don't even know what the T T T T T T T T F O whatever they're called now. You'll be fine. He's got yes. he's got thick skin. Brimstone he's, he's, says if you a put good that restaurant your... always has linen napkins. I completely agree with you. Actually, the best restaurants have a dude that's put aftershave on you. That's usually the best restaurant. That's true. You, someone's in what? there. That is like, true. Have you never yeah, been to those sort of restaurants? You aftershave. Yeah, I have. I've been to oh my god, you've that do dude. That, to be fair. That's, yeah, what, while you're oh. at the table. No, when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, okay. The, bathroom, the, yeah. the way you said yeah. it was like as if they just come up to you. Oh, starter? No, well, here's some aftershave anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to a restaurant that does that, though. That sounds fantastic. In fact, I, there was a. Um, I went out in Thailand and there's this place that gave you a massage whilst just after. I, you you say, went to so I thought he was going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> I was, and it's not one of those dodgy. T it was really genuinely a good, good nightclub and stuff. But they literally, the guy did like this weird kind of. He took your head and he just went like this, and he would like make the like it crack and pop and all this sort of. Sh and I just remember, like, I was like, I just want to, I just want to dry my hand. Next thing, anyways, I like aftershave thing on, like this towel wrapped around me, and I was like, literally, like, what is happening to did me? You and then have Take your clothes off, steam it wasn't towel. So much, it wasn't it's so much a happy, like, happy ending. It was more like a slightly like confused ending. I was just like, what's, what's just happened? Something just <laughs> something strange has just happened to me as I left the toilet. Um, moist probably. You no, know, you know what I'm talking about, right? No, no, never happened to you. Okay. Oh, I forget. It's no. Luigi. Luigi. Um, so yeah, that was my. <laughs> sorry. Week. There sorry. we go. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Carry on, Luigi. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Britis and Con uh, almost mm. dying in a car accident with the few. Uh, <laughs> how how was he driving on the right side of the road? Uh, it was okay. Uh, leaving the car park from the hire company was a little bit uh, dicey. 
Um, that works. Well done. It fits very well. <laughs> um, I just got away my dog tags. Yeah, he, he was. He was. He was very good. He, he wrapped the the wheels on the left hand side of the car, but it's it's fine. They can always be replaced as long as the car wasn't wrecked. And uh, there we go. You don't know how he, how he left it when he got to Manchester. <laughs> <It's> like, yeah, <laughs> you just um, see on the news the few like driving up the wrong side of the motorway. Going, what the fuck is this Twitter doing? <laughs> but yeah, had fun. we went up. Uh, we went up Mount Snowdon. Got about two hours up. It takes about three hours to get to the peak altogether from where we were. Uh, but the nice. weather was a bit too bad, really. So we got two hours and then uh, had to call it quits. And we did, uh, I came did down see to the picture. You look what more cool. did you wear going up to Mount Snowdon? Okay, Was so well, well prepared. I, in in fairness, I bought a pair of Adidas uh, hiking she shoes, did. and I also bought mountaineering trousers. But I wore a t-shirt and my Twitch hoodie. Now the few just wore what he wears every day, which is what exactly what he wears when he's wandering around New York, <laughs> which is a shirt, pair of jeans, pair of shoes, and a coat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. That was that. I, to be fair, I really enjoyed myself. Um, the views from a hotel there were fantastic. Really enjoyed the Asylum podcast on Monday. That was. Um, uh, it was fair, memorable. I don't. Actually, I don't it remember was much of it, and I'm too scared to actually watch it back. <laughs> oh, um, it was. Yeah. A lot of people have been saying how much fun that was to have you. Like you know, the two of you drunk on the stream was hilarious. Oh lord, yeah, it was. <laughs> Jen yeah. made a few clips if you haven't seen them. Oh yeah. no! Yeah. Oh, oh yes! No, I haven't oh seen them. yes! Oh, have you not oh, seen them yet? No. Oh no! Well, I, I would say someone put them in chat, but chat doesn't fucking work. So um, you've been let off. But yeah, then we then we went from North Wales uh, then to South Wales, um, which is where we wrecked the wheels on the left hand side of the car. Um, mm. That that pavement just came out of nowhere, um, as it does. <laughs> Are you and serious? Had a really, really had a really. No, I'm serious. Um, what did you do? Really... Did you wreck the rims? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, had a really good time in Cardiff. We ended up going to a few different bars, um, had quite a few cocktails, but ended up in uh, an arcade bar, which was amazing. And Cecil took on the few at Mortal Kombat, I think it was, and uh, Britain won, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then we had to get a train. So we're running for our train and Cecil is literally running and I literally said the words because the train was beeping, like the doors beeping as in it's leaving. And I said, but the train's like leaving four minutes early, but the few was running after him. So I just ran after them because I didn't want to be left behind. We get on the train, we sit down and there's already a group of people in that area, all really merry, don't know each other, but they're all chatting away. And um, I sit down, I mention Newport and there's this guy sat opposite us. And he looks at me and he goes, oh, do you think you're going to Newport? You're going the really long way. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a guy called John and it turns out we're going to a place called Bridge End. And not only are we just going to Bridge End, they've closed the main track to Bridge End because it's maintenance night. So they're taking us the long way to Bridge End. So we actually had to go an hour out of our way to Bridge End. And as we were pulling up in Bridge End, he said, it's OK. It's only like another hour for the next train. But there's a bar down there. So I suggest you go have a drink, but just keep an eye on your wallet and your phones. <laughs> so and we wear these in, stab vests. We, we walk in <laughs> and the first amazing thing was when I heard uh, country music. The next best thing was when I realised it was karaoke. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, that's, like, that's oh, God. really dropping the few into proper British culture. <laughs> and then, then we ordered our drinks, which were served in plastic cups which in itself is quite scary. Then there was yeah. a really pervy old man in the corner eyeing me and the few up. And then the few and Cecil decided to combat each other in a sophisticated sport called pool. And <laughs> at no point could you really hold the cue down. You had to be playing like this because the room it was in was so small. But I'm pleased to announce that Britain once again beat America at pool as well. Even though Cecil had no clue what he was doing, he was just potting the balls or pushing them in a random direction. Uh, but he still <laughs> managed to win somehow. And uh, luckily we were rescued by Cecil's friend. Uh, I forget his name, thank you for saving us. Even though that was also a scary ride home. Um, and then from Cardiff. <laughs> Cardiff. Um, 
<laughs> we then went on to Brighton and had uh, a great time with some drag queens in Brighton. Um, and you... yeah, it was just just amazing. And then when the few had to leave, I decided to stay for an extra day in Brighton. Uh, and I ended up having a house party with some drag queens in my hotel room and a very, very posh restaurant. And uh, we ran out of booze. So I decided to go and get us some more booze. So I start wandering down the stairs and it's not until I'm like halfway down the staircase I realise I left a sock in the room. So I'm like, oh, I've, I'm committed now. I've got to go. So I'm walking down the stairs with a, a missing sock, uh, ripped jeans and a t-shirt that's like half soaking wet because it was raining earlier on in the day. I wander past concierge who look at me like I'm some sort of mental case that's just walked in off the street. And I just, I'm just like, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> I then proceed to the it's bar. It's me, Moy Snoogle. I proceed to the bar where there's a man with a top hat playing the grand piano and there's women everywhere dressed in ball gowns. Oh, no. <laughs> so I just, I swan through, just, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I walk up to the bar. I then ask for a bottle of rum. I don't even pay attention to the cost of it and then swan back up to the room and we had uh, a fantastic night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then, then I met Detox the next day which was uh, really, really lovely. But that was my week, and now I'm back. <laughs> and I slept and most of alive? yesterday. <laughs> I'm was still this, alive, so... Uh... Was that... When you, you met Detox, you didn't, like, wake up the next day and Detox was one of the drag people, was it? <laughs> just, by, just, just, just curious about this one. I'm trying to understand this scenario. <laughs> he was just there, just one of the... He... Uh, no, no, no. I, I met him at the train station, so... Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Well, just, just, yeah, clar yeah. Just, clar just clarifying just clarifying that. But no, it was, it, was, those... it, it was a lot of fun, and I, I just... I died yesterday, and I was back at work today, and I was still dead at work. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, awesome. exciting times. Good week. Yeah, it sounds, I can't wait sounds... for Citizen Con. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I've done for Citizen Con? I bought a DJI Mavic Pro so I could fly that thing to get some beautiful footage while drunk. Doesn't that sound brilliant? You bought what a hover thing? Oh wow, that would be amazing. So I can do to some behind the, the scenes the filming. Yeah, is that, I can. Mm -hmm. I can see it now. Like I can see it now. Chris Roberts is going to be like mid mid presentation and this drone's just gonna come flying in, <laughs> in the it's all right it'd be, it's all right. It'd be in texas about 500 of them will pull their guns out and just shoot <laughs> it and shoot so at it. <laughs> Shit, just before it gets anywhere near him it's, oh my God. Yeah. it's all right chris we got your back <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. Uh, we're just um, testing. Maybe you should put a picture testing. of Derek Smark's face on the front of it. Oh it. god, it'll be, it will get out of the room. We'll get in the room. It'll be lit instantaneously. <laughs> bah, 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 it's destroyed instantly. <laughs> Don't do that. It's a bad idea. Um, but God, there we go. Moise is like, I'm just testing out the new drone feature. The turrets. They need, it needs a little bit of work. The drones aren't working quite yet. It's a repair drone. Leave them low. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I shot it again. Fantastic. Well, good. Sam, well, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sure your liver could do with a, a rest for a couple of days. <laughs> so. Yes, it could do with a rest for a couple of days. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, so uh, this week in terms of Star Citizen, um, I know we've all been clearly really busy and may not have seen everything, but we had obviously ATV, we had an update on a few things. We had a Squadron, a squadron 42. Was it a Squadron 42 update this week? Yeah, was Squadron it, um, 42. Well, which, yeah. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, yeah, squadron well, 42 kind of update, yeah. yeah. Kind, yeah. Um, we had... Um, I don't know if anyone's seen it, but Board Gamer, um, I can't really can't put the links in, but Board Gamer, if you haven't seen it, he did a... Um, it was Aaron Roberts kind of conf kind of confirmed that there will be a Squadron Forty Two go to Eva, you know, there will be a Squadron Forty Two roadmap coming with potentially Squadron Forty Two going to Eva Carty. So, um, since you brought that up, we did have a question mm. from one of the viewers from Des Marius, and he wants mm. to know our opinions on. This is always a that's a really bad way to start a question anyway. But what is your opinion mm. on Eva Carty uh, testing Squadron Forty Two? I think it's it's for me. I'll just start. I think it's danger. It's it, the, my only danger with Evocati is is at no point has anyone in Evocati managed to keep their mouth shut about any patch in terms of content. So there will be leaks. I mean, there's an Evocati Discord channel called Evo Leaks or whatever it's called. Wiki, you know. So that that's my problem is is that we even if you want to try and avoid leaks, we may end up 
been giving them without realizing it. So you know what, I mean? what I suspect that they might do is I think it'll actually be quite a small Evocati group. And then on top of that, I don't think it'll be one group. I think it'll be several groups and each group will have their own cross section of the game to play. And I also suspect that we they won't be able to test parts of the game where there are like big crucial moments. So that's what I'm hoping they're going to do at least to try and avoid spoil. Like there will be spoilers come out. It's just the nature of that type of testing. But sure. you know, they they have to just try and mitigate the best they can. You know, I'm 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 personally quite surprised that they. I mean, it was always something that was considered and possible that was going to happen, but. Considering it's not being the online part that, yeah, same. you know, it's, it's completely offline. I'm surprised that they're going down this route at all. Um, that they've got enough QA testers and things, and most single-player games don't just release the game to the public to test and see whether it's working okay. Um, okay. So I was very... I was surprised about it i don't think it's a good idea personally i mean unless like uh, as noodle says they they do kind of a very small select few because i think i do think and i said when the last eva cardi patch when we started getting these watermarks that this was probably their way to try and find to close out these leaks that are going out because i think until they can tighten that down and make sure that they can bring out normal builds to the eva Cardi that are not getting leaked at all um there's no way they can just release the full thing to the squadron 42 to get it tested because it just it will be leaked so quickly that it's it's pointless keeping it secret in the first place um and then the other thing is they've just expanded the evocati test group as well so after doing all that vetting and trying to narrow it down they've now just expanded it as well so it it, it could well be like the top top active players in evocati maybe they'll do another agreement with them or something but yeah, I don't know. I really hope that there isn't spoilers because yeah. it's what everybody has been trying to avoid for a long time. Yeah, <clears throat> that's my worry. That's my big worry. I don't think because I don't think Squadron Forty Two is going to be enormous in terms of as a story and as a game. So the mm. the, the, the least I know about it, if I'm being frank, I, the more I'm going to enjoy it. I don't I don't want to see huge chunks of it. I don't mind little tiny bits here and there, but. I read just to know that the game is progressing, but I don't want to see too much. And I, I agree with you. I think that there's no other single player game that I know of that you don't. I mean, the only single player games I know where you actually get to play anything, you may get to play like the first mission, maybe, and a bit of it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's about it. So <clears throat> I'll be uh, only comfortable um, with that. I didn't see the clarification of what was said to board. So I don't, it could even be mm. this. I don't know. It may even be a similar thing to that, that you're literally going to play a tiny little chunk of it just to make sure that certain things flow and, and work and it works. And maybe it's like testing it on different systems and things like that. So it, it could, well, I mean, it may well be something that we've already seen in a demo that they've displayed to people or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, because yeah. if you remember a while back when we had that, uh, they data mined, um, the servers and things, didn't, and they really some people released a ton of um, yeah. hidden files and everything else. And the, yeah. there was quite a few people that just didn't want to know about that. And then obviously there's others that were showing it to the to the hill, yeah. So yeah, I mean I'm. But, uh, um, I, 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 like, I, I, like I think we're in agreement here. But if there are any spoilers, we certainly won't be talking about them. No, no, no. not for comes scoring for so you. Can, you can watch our podcast in pure safety knowing that we're not going to be at the end of the day if people if not people fair. want to have it spoiled for them then they there are places they can go yeah. to so i'm not ruling it out on my web on when i stream personally but on the asylum we won't we won't really discuss things because it's not fair for uh, the other that's people. your choice but <laughs> yeah exactly on my yeah, exactly on my channel we might we might depending on what it is if i feel like it's you know like a trailer or something like the equivalent of a trailer content wise i'll be cool with it but if it's you know a huge segment of everything you ever wanted to know and like, i would just be like no i'm not touching it because it's like too much you know like some trailers are just yeah. too long and i don't watch them because i don't want to it spoils it for me even just seeing bits because you can kind of make out oh this is going to be here and it starts to put like something in your mind that i don't want to be there like start to formulate. it probably won't be a like trailer this because they're not going to uh, test the trailer <laughs> so. no i know i know it won't be a trailer but i'm just saying uh, trying to use that as an example but um so yeah okay cool good good question um so the other thing is is uh we've got the roadmap which we'll go into in a second but we also we have um citizen con has been released in terms of the date yes. so it all begins in austin the tickets will go on sale may the 2nd 
I know Moist obviously just said that he can't wait to go, so he's definitely sounds like he's going. Yeah. Um, I won't be going. I have a I have a newborn kid and a you know a three year old, and it's just too damn expensive, and there's not much else there, so I won't be going. Unfortunately, um, Miss Miss unlikely. I need a travel oh. partner, Miss. Don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> You've already said I'm not humorous enough. It's fine. Wow. <laughs> but you have a fabulous face of, well, facial hair. So, <laughs> so do you right it's now. Acceptable. It's I know. glorious. It's a I know. glorious tash right there. Yeah, I mean, the problem is, is it's expensive to go for a start. And then I'm also going on holiday in September. So it's kind of... And they haven't given us like that's one of the things. Like a moist, uh, I don't know, someone, I don't know if he's allowed to give information out, but um, where about the the reason it was delayed and stuff? But they're still not given much time between the announcement of because they could have announced where it was without even selling tickets um, straight away. They couldn't. It's, they, they couldn't because at the end of the day, right? So to explain, um, the reason it was delayed was because the venue were. Basically, CIG believed that there was something to do with the venue that they shouldn't have to pay for, and the venue thought that CIG should have to pay for it. And the problem with one releasing the tickets or two um, saying where it's going to be held is that the venue can then turn around and hold that against you and just flat out and say, no, you've got to pay for it. Whereas by standing their ground, SIG have got what they wanted, um, which is better for us because it means that it's less money being put towards an event and more money Even towards the, the game. Gone up. <laughs> well, it's, it is a much, much bigger venue. So that's kind of to be anticipated, to be fair. Yeah. And I have a funny feeling they're going to be doing much more again this, this year compared to last year. So, yeah, there we go. But, um, but what I'm saying is, why do they need to... Oh, lost you. Oh. The Discord just died. Lost you most. Uh, lost. I got moist. I've lost um, Miz. Lost your voice. You muted. Can't hear you. Moist, talk to me. I lost. Oh, God. Seriously? Tonight. Moist, can you talk? Can you hear me? Hello. Oh my god, guys. Seriously, what is with tonight? So basically, Discord is now going down, it seems. Discord, <laughs> Discord is dying. I oh, don't know if you guys can hear me through Discord, but um, yeah, as far as I can tell, Discord is crashed. I don't know about you guys. Um, I'm going to reset it, um, but Discord is dying. Um, I'm trying to think if I can get you guys... There is another app that I use. Um, oh, we're just going to go to a lobby, guys, just temporarily. We'll be back. We're back, guys. We're back. There must be something going on. Oh, CIG stream. Oh, no, now Hello. Zoom's crashed. What the f... Why is my Zoom crashed? Um, tonight. It's gone. Zoom that has gone. Hilarious. And I'm back again. <laughs> what the... F 
What is going on tonight? The fuck? It's the internet. It's the end of the world, guys. Run! I, it's I'm the gonna end a, of I'm the world. A, I'm, I'm actually going to have a quick poke around because I think there is a big attack going on. At the it's moment. the end of the world. The Russians are coming. <laughs> the Chinese yeah. or something. I've literally, yeah, I lost Zoom. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm back. It's, it's the fine. end of the world. It's all good. Right. Okay. <sighs> uh, what were you saying, Miz? Because you were saying something really looked very so, like you were very factual. So no one heard anything I'm saying. Uh, I would, nope. I mentioned that so Moist explained why that uh, CIG were late in announcing the venue and stuff, and I was just saying that I felt uh, why was there a reason why they needed to sell like they could announce in the sale of the tickets, but why did it have to be like a week later? Couldn't they have left a bit of a gap to give people a chance to? actually look at flights hotels and things like that before they even put it on sale it's like you know anyone that's six oh, i want to i want to be able to go they've upped the price of the ticket they've yeah. um put it's it in midweek which makes it a lot harder for people to go um because they need to book time off work and stuff a lot more and then they give people like a week notice to go and buy their tickets yeah like, is there a classic, and CIG, no, no, classic cig I mean, really, really? Even if they didn't have like the the explanation that Noodle gave about the venue, they could. I suppose they don't want to shame the venue, but at the same time, we feel like at least tell us why you're doing some of this. It would be nice. Yeah, so I completely have... agree. It's it, you know having a bit of transparency just it sets the expectation really for the community. So you know, there's obviously like you said, you don't want to shame the venue, but there is a way to say we're just trying to iron out some. Some things in the contract with the venue, yeah, some issues. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah issues. Yeah. We're having some issues with the venue, um, and that's why it's been delayed. But I still, I just, I think it's difficult for people to say, oh, "I want to go," and it's well, you've literally got till was it two days time now to start buying the buying the tickets, so you've got hardly any time at all to plan plan for it. Yeah, but to um, be fair, a lot of people, a lot of people knew that it was going to be in october so if you knew that it was going to be in october and you knew it was going to be in texas which we know those knew those two things yeah. then people should have been planning already no not necessarily but bought the tickets but saved for it flight. yeah yeah save for it maybe but um yeah i mean the, the thing is it's difficult because it's midweek like i said so it's actually arranging time for work and stuff to get it off because it's, i think that's yeah that's but, more but still, my I, with it that's more i my i with it. I personally held back two weeks of holidays because I knew it was in October. So, yeah, I, I get it if you work for um, for a team where you've got quite a few people on the team and other people might book time off at the same time. That I get, but you can you can organise everything else without knowing the specific date. Yeah, but you, mm, yeah, maybe. I know what you're saying. You can to a degree, but I also the other thing that's quite bad is that if you buy the ticket. Um, so, like, well, some people will try and buy it um, to, to reserve it before they work out everything else. You can't actually get a refund on it. You can refund it for store credit, funnily enough, so you can still spend it on Star Citizen, <laughs> but you don't get a refund on the ticket. So, nice. So, which I, it's I, so I, so I, yeah, it's but can you? But you can only use the store credit, so you can't. It's not actually real new money, though, because then you won't be able to buy anything, anything war bond with it. <laughs> you can't even buy anything with war bonds. It's with not it. real money. Oh my god! You can't, don't use it, to, and you can't even change it for gift cards because gift cards can't be used for war bond either. Because CIG don't do that. Bravo, CIG. Sorry, they just I, they just narc me. Absolutely narc me with that shit. It's just so bad, so bad. Um. Well, I just think the Wednesday thing sucks. I think, that's, I think that's bad planning on their part. Because <laughs> even if, like, in America, you're going to struggle, like, with the middle of the week kind of deal, you know? It's like, Friday, come on, at least, or a Thursday, for like a Friday. I mean, at least Star Citizen has a common sense of the, bar, you know, the Britain Con Saturday. So everyone comes on a Friday, gets absolutely smashed on a Friday, has a great time, and then on Saturday, they continue the party over. Can't wake up for it on the Saturday. Yeah, I can't wake up for another Saturday, slightly hungover, but they have a great time anyway. And then, you know what I mean? Like, that's common sense, surely. Like, I hate it at, like, Christmas parties when somebody has a Christmas party on a Thursday because, you know, like, no one's going to be turning up the next day for work and I'm going to be the, the only poor sod that turns up on the Friday and everyone else won't bother. And the bosses will be like, oh, you know, well, I'm not feeling very well. Don't turn up. And they get a free day off. Does my head in. So, no, I'm not, that's the bit that I don't like about it. Big time. Well, that it's this that it's midweek. It's a midweek. I, I'm with you. I think, I think, I think that it's we've known about it. Obvious. I think it's clearly obvious why it's midweek, right? No, tell me. It's 
Oh, it's chat's working now, by the way. Chat is oh my God. working, everybody. <gasps> is it because um, I couldn't type stuff and it didn't come up, but I could yo, type? Yo, Zach, what's up? We got Zach's actually said something. I heard something in text. Holy shit. We have Holy chat. shit, it works. What? So, hi, guys. So, it's an expensive city and mm. it's a big venue. So, how much money do you think they are paying for the venue? How much do you think they would pay midweek compared to a weekend? Because every venue that I know of, you have to pay more for the weekend. So you're saying is yeah. so you're saying is CRG is cheap? That's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, obviously, like they don't have an unlimited pot of money that everybody seems to think they do. Hundred and ninety million. Don't I mean, the, the reality of it is, like, as annoying as all the points that I've said and annoying about the tickets and everything else, the reality of it is them tickets will probably still sell out within 30 seconds of going live. And that's an element of why ACRG don't really give a shit. It's like, we're still going to get, we're still going to fill it and we're still going to be full of backers that want to go. So yeah, it yeah. doesn't really matter to them. Yep, Probably. pretty much, pretty much. I mean, I just think that they could have maximised. I mean, it's a it's a big venue. They're they're stepping up. I mean, what's it now? Oh, three get, and a half it, thousand. It, it, they, the reason they've upped the venue is because they know they can sell the tickets. They've had so many people. Like, the fact that the other ones sell out within thirty seconds of going live, it's not. That's they true. know they're going to sell it. It's, it's without a doubt. That's, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's Mr. Boomer true. just said, "Not a fan of their marketing." Myself. Well, Mr. Boomer, you'll be pleased <laughs> to know I spent forty five minutes talking to the head of marketing. <laughs> This is this thing. This is your little. I need to get your T-shirt that says "I spent forty-five minutes with the head of talking to the marketing." Person. I loved her. She was amazing. <laughs> she was amazing. She was so lovely, and I, I genuinely loved talking to her. Um, but there's a lot changing in terms of marketing um, coming soon. So uh, hold on to your hats, kids, because it'll still probably be shit. Um, I've lost already. But fingers crossed. <laughs> it's still, it just just blew it all out the water. I've got really good rep with her, but it's still going to be shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god what's he doing what have you Sorry, I'm, I'm just tittles. changing he's getting the tittles out oh tittles I do like, I do <laughs> like them you get them tittles out don't ever don't ever touch it when it's going live my poor thing poor exploit tonight sorry guys my bad okay guys um, stuck wow. there. it will go Fair don't enough. worry tea. Um, so yeah, as we said earlier in the podcast, um, just because we couldn't spam some links and stuff, I'm just going to put a link in chat for the Britons and Con guys. Um, it's a feedback form, so if you did attend the event and you have some feedback, um, please go and fill in the form and let them know so they can improve it for next year. And also, if you didn't attend the event and you watched the stream, also go and fill out the form. I think it probably asks about that. Um, but maybe try not to put every complaint about the internet, although most likely it's going to be about the internet. <laughs> it's bad tonight. So, it's it's bad. we're having, it's, it's just, everything's going, anything could go wrong today at the moment is going wrong. My ex bits decided it wants to have a heart attack on this computer and um, it won't fucking get rid of this now. What the fuck? Don't worry, just leave it there. I think it's charming. It adds, it's, it's, it adds, it's a feature. Okay, Title don't worry tea. about it. Just leave uh, it there. Apparently chat's still not working for some people. Oh, okay. Oh, that's sad. Internet is broken. We've officially so broken the internet. The world has ended. Title T has decided to arrive, which was a massive mistake. I'm blaming Moist. <laughs> blaming Moist for his... Um, it's all my fault. Thing. I get it, like, it's fine. XSplit is just like, I'm just, I'm expecting XSplit now to literally crash, guys. So if XSplit does crash, just let me know, because it's, it's now. Okay, so Kujo said that there was issues with other events, such as Huge Music Festival, Formula One, and a film festival in October. Well, pick a different fucking month. <laughs> but it has Absolutely. to be October, isn't it obvious? Yes, it has to be, because it's Oktoberfest. Exactly. Gives so, us yeah. an excuse to drink beer. Because we need those excuses. Yes. It's so difficult drinking with a moustache. So difficult. I have so much respect for people who have fabulous moustaches and have to try and drink. Oh. No, I just ruined it. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. So uh, when he tries to get rid of his title tits... Um, what else was on the thing? So, uh, yeah, so is anybody in chat going? Uh, those that can type, are you going to CitizenCon? What do I you think of the, the venue, the date, 
um, and everything else. Are you if salty there's anybody or are you from happy? the UK, I'm looking for a friend to travel with, please, with a sense of humour and with exquisite taste in beers. Thank you. <laughs> and he will come incognito with a different moustache, don't worry. Oh, guys, you, you wait. You wait till I wear this bad boy. He <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine you trying to get on the plane. <laughs> it's me, my snoodle, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So um, a few people are saying, so obviously there's going to be, so uh, there's the event they're going to do similar to what they did in Germany, which is really nice, the, the stuff out the front um, and some more things for people to get their hands on and talk to the devs, which I think they nicked the idea from BritizenCon, really, which is a nice idea. Um is anybody? I've heard a lot of people talking and saying that they're going to go even if they don't get a ticket. So I, I presume yeah. it's going to be like lots of meetings beforehand and stuff. Even so. if I don't get a ticket, I'm going. You I want to. Go, I just want to see people. I'm mostly going to meet people. You know, there's so many people that I've been friendly with for such a long time that I want to meet them in person. Thing. It's like in in Texas. I don't know if there's like a lot to go and see, which is like trying to convince people. But um, do they have bars? It, no, but that's what I'm saying. But other than, like, there's so many, it's one of the only opportunities you kind of get to meet a shit ton of, like, uh, fans and people that you know online from America and stuff that are actually mm-hmm. going to, because they'll gather from different places and meet there as well. So it's, it's they don't get that opportunity too often. So, I mean, it's good in that respect, um, because you'll get people from different states and things. So, ah, it's a shame. I don't know. Yeah. But no, if, yeah. if things change, if I win that, like, lottery ticket, it's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't buy any, but <laughs> it'll be amazing. Honestly, like, I don't know. I'm just so hyped for it. I think Britain's Con is the thing that really opened my eyes. I'd never been to an event before, and everyone mm. was just so friendly, and there was no awkwardness really because you all had that mutual talking point. You know, if there's like three seconds of silence, oh, about the carrot! Haven't we been waiting a while? <laughs> and then everybody starts raging about the the carrot. You know. So you know you're all good. I would I would advise everybody who possibly can come to come, even if you can't get a ticket. Oh, it's just me talking on my own. When it's a good thing I have a mustache, because you're never on your own when you have a mustache, isn't that uh, right, Mr. Mustache? I'm oh, I, I'm at, welcome back. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've I've got I've got a mental. I've got a really strong choice. I either cr- completely close down, X split, and no. restart the stream, or we have no, to put up with the tight tea. Leave it, it there. Was, I've already it, said it's absolutely nothing, fine. I can't I love do anything it. about it. It's completely it. frozen. X Men is completely frozen for me. Leave it. Leave it. Today is a day of just nonsense. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's because of the moustache. It's a cursed moustache. Moist noodle and cursed moustache. Isn't that the title for a book? I think it's, um, it's just, I think, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, time for a new upgrade. Another upgrade coming for a new computer. Um, so, okay, so. I, I, sorry about that. What do you think um, about people being sponsored, Intel? I think it's because this, because this is a kind of a thing because it's a big thing and like people have been call, like calling pe- like the, the certain individuals who've managed to achieve this 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 sponsorship from Intel. Well, you know, I think they've been called a few little names, and I think there's obviously a little bit of jealousy going around, which I can understand so, why a few people. But how do you feel I about think, the, the I fact think that they've been given they've been given free ships to be given away? They've been given five thousand dollars worth of um, goods, and if anyone says oh CIG didn't do it, I guarantee. I guarantee that Intel asked CIG who to give it to. So there's a definitely yeah. an impact from CIG in terms of who they've chosen. So that, you know, how people I, feel. Personally, you know, I personally, I personally, bad choices. I, we're, we're biased because we're content creators, but I'm absolutely fine with it. At the end of the day, um, this decision, the decision to, to, to do this would have been made right at the beginning when they were signing the contracts for for the Intel deal with CIG. I can almost guarantee you of that. So it's going to happen. But, and yeah, yeah, a community manager would have made the decision, uh, or rather would have suggested to Sandy and or Chris who they give them to. And yes, they would have chosen those people very, very tactfully. But to be fair, I think this the, the whole discussion is, and I'm sure I'm going to insult people when I say this, a little bit childish, to be fair. Like, can't we all just be happy that <laughs> some people who actually do work quite hard 
have re received but something that they're kind like of deserving CIG of? CIG haven't, as far as we can tell, CIG haven't paid for it. It's a sponsorship by Intel. Yeah. And how is that any different to them being... They get, I mean, they get sponsored all the time by different people. Yes. Yeah, it has Sorry. come from Intel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's like, um, it, it, if they had approached Intel themselves and, and cut CIG out of it, and they may well get a sponsorship because of how their stream's doing. It's just a sponsorship. The same way as, like, I think they're getting, the board gets sponsored by people when he does his videos, and, like, um, it, it happens all the time. Uh, Epic Zach is asking which streamers got the sponsors. It was Matauchi, Crucian, WTF Asaurus, and who was the... Uh, who was I can't remember who, who the other was. I think the... Was it... Oh, Captain Richard? No, he didn't. Um, did he, oh, sure? no, Captain because Richard's did. No, video... Captain Richard, yeah. Bad News Baron, sorry. Uh, I was thinking, yeah, Captain Richard's yeah. got one. Um, yeah, those are the four, and then there was a fifth was a giveaway, wasn't it? They were giving away as a prize or winning or something. Okay. Win, win the same computer or something. Yeah. There's five in total. Four, four, stream, four streamers got it, and... Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, I mean, I, I couldn't really, I don't particularly care too much, to be honest. It doesn't really bother me. People do what they want to do, right? But yeah. I know that some people, it was, it was, a, it was something a lot of people, a few people, not a lot of people, but quite a few people have been talking about and asking streamers how they felt about it. And, you know, you know, and it's like, well, at the end of the day, I ain't big enough to be even thinking about in that category. So it doesn't bother me, but, um, yeah. uh, so if you think you're big enough and deserve it, then. There's a few people I think Intel, the thing approach is, Intel because yeah, the, the, yeah, well, maybe yeah. they'll make it happen um, yeah, exactly. because that's all it really basically is. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you know, some at the end of the day, as for it. So, so like the que if if people are annoyed by it, the thing that you have to, or those people have to ask themselves is, well, what should be done then? Should uh, CIG slash Intel give computers to everybody, and at what point do they draw the line? <laughs> uh, after me, it's fine. Or, or <laughs> not at all. And quite frankly, I would rather us have like four, five PCs to give away to the community rather than have absolutely nothing. I genuinely think it was a really, really nice gesture for a handful of people who have worked really, really hard. And like, I know a couple of those people personally and like they all go through shit times like the rest of us and a lot of them still work well, i say a lot of them um i think three of them two sorry two out of the four still have full-time jobs and a third only left his full-time job recently and to try and do a full-time job and do this is quite difficult so yeah that's my rant over i'm done i mean i don't I mean that's not. I just don't care. I mean that's that type of thinking is fine. That's that's you. That's for you personally. I'm like we all work hard and we've all got shit to do with our lives. I don't think that gives us special privilege to receive something as a gift of five thousand dollar computer. But at the same time, you know they can't give it to everyone. So who if they choose, that's up to them to decide. Don't really care. Yeah, yeah, but but at the end of the day, it any is sponsorship. A no, it's it's. It, it's yeah. coming one, 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 and they're trying that you have to think of it smartly they are trying to sell, sell the stuff. octane yeah. drive slash i9 That's so fine. who are they going to give them care. to are they going to give them to the people who can promote those things or are they going to give them watch to... those biased streams that tell you how wonderful exactly and that's just it. We are biased, so like it, everybody's entitled to their opinion, and you're just hearing it from a handful of biased people right now. So there we go. Yep. Title T, as it says. Title T. <laughs> <laughs> if only I can't eat. Like, honestly, there's no it's, it. it's totally frozen. I can't delete. I, I can't even switch screens. So if I want to show you something, I may have to genuinely close, r shut it down again, and re restart it again. It's 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 for some reason this time the the exploit is now using more of my cpu than it's ever used before i don't understand it, I've never you, need had to, you need one of those i9s and an octane drive that's what you <laughs> need just just saying i'm just saying <laughs> oh that's why you're so salty i get it now oh, i'm not salty i don't care um i got far I more important be things. Better. I this team would be nine times better with an i9 <laughs> i wish oh Actually, what are you guys drinking? So I'm drinking gingerella again. This stuff is amazing. So Absolutely amazing. the few who's in chat is going to recognize this. This was my gift from a local bar manager 
after we went for lunch with my mother and the waitress poured both mine and the fuse lagers into my lap. <laughs> mm. It's okay. The reason or I learned. I, I learned. I learned how to drink two pints of Fosters out of a pair of jeans that day, and that's a skill that everybody should have. You know, in case you get stuck in a desert in Australia. Oh, good. Don't worry. Screw yeah, you guys, because you can't hear. It. Oh, damn. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> tell Chet to. I just timing. Timing. We get these every now and again. These just get these ones which are just a jerk, comedy of errors, and they always seem to be on my stream. I think it's just definitely my end, um, and it's definitely related to this computer. Anyway, um, rip title T. Rest in peace, indeed. Uh, where were we? Right, I'm going to uh, move us on to. Oh, oh yeah, we were talking about the Intel stuff, weren't we? We were talking about that. I don't really care too much. It's not really a big deal to me, so we'll move on. Um, the. Oh yeah, here we go. So I don't. Know, if anyone ever, go, if you ever type in Star Citizen and you go into the Reddit, this is because we're talking about Reddit stuff. If you go into Reddit, you type in Star Citizen. The first thing you are greeted with is Star Citizen Reddit. Then underneath it, you'll have Star Citizen subreddit. But in between it, on Google, this is Google I'm talking about, the very first thing you see is Star Citizen refunds. <laughs> and then it's Star Citizen trades, and then it's controversial, and then Star Citizen guilds, which I find really interesting that the very first thing is refunds. As if to say, literally everyone that plays Star Citizen or what looks to anything on Reddit wants their money back. I hope one day that that might change, is all I'm saying. I mean, I if everyone in Reddit wants their money back, then why are they so vocal about <laughs> stuff? It's like, get your refund and go. I just don't uh, get it. Like, why, why, why is that the first thing that's on there? Like, it should be like Star Citizen about the game, you know, or Star Citizen, like Reddit. About, but the first thing is refunds. I'm like, I, uh, I just, it, I find that, maybe that, is that like the first thing that people go into Reddit to want to ask or are curious about is refund? I don't, I'd love to know um, if Reddit, Even how that works. actually works. No, that's, that, 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 that is worked out by what people have searched. Yeah. And what yeah. I suggest is that somebody, you stop searching for refunds. actually a lot of people mm -hmm. have purposely bought Google advertising for yeah. negative search results. That's for what I'm people. saying. Yeah. He, like the certain person that likes to troll it, he's the sort of person that would pay to have that come up as a top result. Do you think Google. so? That's how you think you think, uh, you think yeah, people are actually oh, yeah. paying 100%. people who hate the game that much yeah. are paying money to, to make yeah. that as a thing. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. There are, there are a lot of world. Dark world. There's have a you lot not of seen any of Derek Smart shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I mean a lot of money on spaceships. <laughs> I've read a bit I've read a bit about it, but I just think that like to to waste your money to just to put that shit up just seems yeah, but really you say that, there, the one thing I've learned is that there are a lot of people with a lot of money who just want to burn it in this world just to see the world burn. So, like, if, yeah, if they enjoy doing well, it, I'm not going to hold uh, it against them, you know. But by the way, for people in chat, um, we have a question thing. Now you can do it. Exclamation question. Join Ask Us Questions if you've got any questions. I noticed I'm um, CZ. Do you just ask a question about, do you know a good bomber or a science ship? And my question to you would be, my question to you actually is, when you say bomber, do you mean something that drops bombs like using gravity to come down and smash a planet? Or do you mean bomber as in like just carries great big, like currently like missiles and torpedoes cool. and then like kind of fires them at something? Um, cause <clears throat> I don't know how much you know about the game. If you're talking about the gravity ones that drop to the lat to land, then they don't exist in Star Citizen. But if you're on about the missiles and torpedoes, then things like the Eclipse, the Retaliator, um, the Gladiator, um, <clears throat> are probably the Polaris, depends how much money you have. Those are kind of like, you know, the, the, the kind of the big ones. I mean, you can even go crazy and you can like load up size ones, like on like ships, like a saber. You could let like, Zach's in chat. Now he does a really crazy thing where he gets tons and tons and tons and tons of size ones and locks, he's, loads them all up and then launches them. He all. Sounds like a fan of yours, madness. I just want mm. to blow shit up. It's yeah. One of it's one of those oh, that wants to watch the world burn. It's like, I oh, love oh. you. Google <laughs> advertising. It's the well, future. It's, you're you're in the right place, my friend. You're in the right place. Um, I like blowing shit up too. Um, but yes, no, I don't necessarily like blowing up with missiles. I like blowing up with guns, personally, a bit more skill. But uh, you know, if you want to blow shit up with missiles, feel free. Like bouncy um, castles, hot air balloons. If anyone <laughs> wrong wrong blowing. <laughs> up. 
Because he was a dog fighting bro. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I never bros. said such things. It's Rwanda. Speak <laughs> I don't think I would have ever heard those words leave Poodle's mouth, bro. There are far, there are there are as like, as everything. There are better pilots than me, but I I know I know quite a few of them, and you know I consider myself fairly fairly competent. Um, so those are the ships I would suggest. Currently, are pretty good on the missile side of things and torpedo side of things. Um, if you want to blow shit up with guns and lasers, then you can't go wrong with a saber, um, a super hornet. Um, the Gladius is pretty good as an introduction ship for combat. Um, but yeah, those are kind of like my kind of top. Those are the kind of the three meta, I suppose, combat ships in the game, in my opinion. Well, you don't have to get the Super Hornet. You can get the standard Hornet as well, um, which is quite good too. The FC, FC, F7C, I think it's called. Um, anyway, uh, we have... Actually, this is, this is... Okay, so the Moby Glass. Okay, so here's my question to you. Some, because this was on this was on Reddit, and somebody somebody was saying they don't like the Moby Glass, they didn't like the Hollow Table. They were wondering, you know, they've had it out now for a while. We've been playing with it. People complain about it. Do you think we should ditch it? And go, Moby go Glass. for something else. Yeah, go for something nah, different. I don't mind it that much, but I, I think we're quite far along in its development now. I think turning back would be a bad idea. Okay, so it's a little PDA I, machine. I agree. I think that we're too far on. It's too world up to in terms of ways that you could see to improve the Moby Glass. I mean, I think we touched a little bit on it last week, but is there anything, anything further? Like, if, it's more a case of what would you have as an alternative? Like, so if, mm-hmm. if, if you're saying get rid of it, what would you have as an alternative mm-hmm. to, to the Moby Glass? Yeah, because I mean, if, if if you're talking about having like a a computer or something like that you bring up, then the only difference being is you don't have that transparency. And if that's the case, then you could argue, but just cover, get rid of most of the transparency on a Mobi glass, so that you can read stuff better, yeah. um, and don't have it so it's so see through. Uh, the, the only reason to make it see through is to, for a call effect. But if that call effect's not working, it's not good. So that, that's about as, as as much as I would go. I think the, we kind of touched the, on it last week, didn't we? Like a slider to change. Yeah, which like a, yeah, the, the, or something. I think that might be better to suit people's preferences. I think the only issue that I've ever had with the Moby Glass is that, you know, there's quite a few tasks that I've been trying to achieve that take like three or four clicks that could be realistically done with one click, but they're clearly working on that. So yeah. just give it we time. Did. I think it was what one or two AUTVs ago, they, they actually did a feature on the Moby Glass and they changed a lot where they'd streamlined because they said before it's like click here then you go into like a tree yeah. menu of so many different ways yeah. whereas now it's getting flowed much better but that's something a, lot, a bit like the flight mechanism and else it's something that's going to be redone and rehashed time and time again i think until people sort of say yeah i'm happy with this yeah the next thing is um again pretty pretty straightforward but it's again it's the constant thing that i see on reddit and other places in spectrum is eating and drinking within the verse I think are that was you, a good one actually to bring up. Yeah, are you guys like, are you, and this, uh, I'm just going to kind of, like I said, I don't want to change screens and X play at the moment unless I absolutely have to. But um, this, person, this person had some kind of ideas and they were talking about how they felt it should work. I can link it in chat if people want to, what, read it and stuff if you haven't. Um, but, you know, they're talking about food and this person, I don't agree with what they want. And they were just talking about kind of more, kind of like making it more. I guess it has like some sort of kind of buffering and kind of it impacts your kind of like traits and things. And I personally just want eating to be just cosmetic and just for videos and to have no impact other than the fact that it's kind of a cool thing to do. And like the same with the showering. I don't, I don't actually want any of that stuff in the game. That's just me personally. Um, I'd rather people could just role play that shit. Just as long as they have the action and the animation, they can role play that if they want to do role play. Um, but otherwise, I don't want it to have an impact on on the game personally. That's my view. What's your view? What do you feel about yes. food eating uh, stuff? Hmm? I've been yes. I've been really open about my feeling towards it for a while. Like I always liked the way that, that um, Star Wars Galaxies. Um, worked now for me star wars galaxies was just like a social thing so i never really played it as a game i literally had an entertainment uh, entertainer and like it, she was female she was gorgeous and i had lots of people giving me money it was the best thing in the world but i never left the, the, the bars um but i don't necessarily want to have to keep feeding myself to keep alive 
I think that's too much for me personally. But I'm not against the idea of eating certain foods and getting slight buffs. Um, I have no issue with drinking lots of beer and then not being able to walk in a straight line. You know, that's the kind of thing that I'm thinking. Yeah, that's fine with well, me they, too. They, I, don't I mean, they've, they've, they've already said yeah, that fine. it's not going to keep you alive. Eating and drinking isn't to keep you alive. It's going to be buffs and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but to, to be honest, I, I am actually... I would like the drunk thing because it's just fun. Um, yeah. So yeah. I do think if you're drinking, I think that's just a fun effect to actually have. Um, but I, I'm actually along a bit more with Madness on this one. I, I, there's other games, there's survival games out there that do that and you need to eat and drink and that's fine, that's what they are. But I just... I think it's just a touch that we just don't need. I just don't think well, it'll fine. add enough to the game to make it worth it, really. I, that's fine, I, don't like, do it then. Thing, like, but... I, the way they need to balance it is, like, the buffs need to be good enough that, like, people who really want to do it and really want to micromanage that much can go and eat and drink if they want to, but then people like you and Madness, they don't have to worry about it. You know, it's not forced upon them, it's just... It's, like most aspects of the game, it's just about having to balance it. Depends. Depends. I though. like it, the idea of it. You have got to be careful because if it does become a situation where you're in getting um a, 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 quite a big advantage from doing that type of a mechanic, then you're ultimately I will be forced into having to play like that in order to re receive the same benefit. The and I don't Not like basic. necessarily well, that's, that that's idea. Exactly the, that's what, exactly what I was just saying. It's about having the balance. And you have to bear in mind, for example, the Endeavour, farming with the Endeavour. One of the things that they always suggested that you'd be able to do is if you're growing crops on the Endeavour, you can go to certain nebula and whatnot. And those certain nebula will give certain effects to the crops, which is kind of like a similar thing, really. It's kind of giving them a certain buff. So I think it's going to happen... Crop's not going to Crops. shoot me in the face. Well, it might. It might turn into like some creature, like from the <laughs> might do, uh, but I don't think so. Show. It Rocky might Rocky do, but I don't. I don't show. Little I Shop mean, of Horrors. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, it might That'd do, but amazing. I mean, I, that would be pretty cool to have like uh, like deadly deadly plants and stuff. But I'm not sure I'm going to be growing them on my endeavor. To be fair, um, well, you a, never know. A, like, can you imagine having an outpost and just like. Um, Plants vs. Zombies mode, just like have a row of these things all the way around your outpost, right? <laughs> You've got some poor bastard running towards it, just on! Um. That'd be and the this is the in the world! This is the reason why everybody like expects so much from Star Citizen and no one's going to be happy because it's, it's like, gonna happen. I want, I want look plants and zombies. Look at this beautiful, harmless garden that this outpost has got. It's lovely. Let's go and rob the outpost. Next thing you go, ah, everything's killing me every time. You just see some taken sticking out of the mouth like, of the plant. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's just a fly eater. Don't worry about it. I <laughs> mean, some fucking big flies. I, I love the idea of eventually that kind of like gameplay at some point, but there is so much more basic stuff to do first. But um, yeah, that would be could be funny. But um, I I, I kind of get what you're saying. I'm I'm not completely anti certain types of fun buffs that kind of add a little bit of humor and a bit of bit of thing. But I, like I said, I just I'm not a fan. I think I would rather have other things first, if I'm being honest. And then if they want to trial it a little bit later on and and something, I don't know. No, no, I just. just a bit nervous sorry i, th I think maybe. i think it's a feature that will be coming mainly for squadron 42 and if it's coming for squadron 42 then it will be coming to, to star citizen you know so just make the most of it really but then, if you don't want to do it then don't do it like you said though that that's, that's one thing with the eating and drinking but then the washing or showering is a different thing because mm. if NPCs react to you differently if you haven't had a shower because you smell. But you're in a suit. Then that is a thing that you like, you cannot wear a suit permanently. You, but it's like. But again, oh. it all comes down to balancing. You're talking as if like you're going to have to be washing every thirty seconds. And I really don't think that's going to be the case. Like I would hope that you only have oh, to like do it maybe once in. Yeah, a, I, a, a day I don't know about you. Session. I shower twice a day. Yeah, well, you're I fucking weird. <laughs> I shower twice a day. Once in the morning, once in the morning. I shower morning. once a month and nothing more. How do you think I get this beautiful blue hair? So, you know, <laughs> hypothetic. <laughs> hypo but, but in theory, though, in theory, if you take that out of it, you'd be in, you know, the average person would shower then, like, what, once a day? But in the game, 
I mean, how's the you know one rotation of Daymar or whatever? Yeah, it's that's, it, yeah, it's, that's it's, one it's, shower. It's, Fuck, I got a shower again. I'm stinking. God damn it! Or if I'm still for a little bit of a jog, I'm sweating. Perspiration's already there, and I'm smelling already. I'm gonna have to have another shower. Shit, that's another five seconds. Then and then it's like, oh, I need to pee because I had some water. So let me use the toilet. Hang on a minute, you know. Oh, hang on, I'm 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 in a dog fight now. Okay, granted, you would probably adrenaline would kick in, so you wouldn't necessarily need to go for a pee, so long as they have that game mechanic in the game. But if they don't have that game mechanic in the game, you're gonna piss yourself bid fight. Just say, where does it end? Where does it begin? I just I'm anti it. I'm totally what part anti-it. balance. Don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole point of this process. The whole point of us. <laughs> doing these podcasts of having read it is to provide them with feedback if we don't like something we tell them about it why do you think they're working on ifcs so much because we don't fucking like it you know it's like why do you think they're working on the bikes so much because we've told them it's shit (laughs) when they bring it in it will be too much you will need to pee every 10 seconds you will need to shower every 10 seconds you will need to eat constantly you tell them that you don't like it they change it (laughs) So I've just woke up. Oh, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling. I'm telling them before they even put it in. Don't like it. I don't like it at all. Don't yeah, but you don't want in. any features other than dog fighting. If you had your way, no, no, no. I'm a farmer. I've already said this before. What part of people don't? Need? No one listens. I want farming in the game. I love the idea of farming in this. In the universe. that's I the like first the time you've ever told me you want to do farming. I've already said I'm going to be the unforgiving character, the Clint Eastwood style. He's going to be living on a farm, and then you come and hire me to come and take out somebody, and that's what you do. So, what's the point of farming if people don't need to eat? To sell it for money. Because it's a game kind of economy. Are you telling me? Are you seriously telling me the economy? So you're saying the. All right, okay, this is interesting. This is I, I don't mind having this conversation. So you're saying the value of food is going to be based on the amount of food no. that people are buying in. Then what's the point then? If the economy doesn't work like that, then just make it fake. What is it? If you because yes. otherwise, then what's the point? If you're saying it's based on what people are eating and using <laughs> to produce, manufacture, whatever. I don't understand. Am I going wrong? Am I mishearing something? Am I, mis- am I being stupid? No, no, or maybe no. I'm being stupid. Immersion. <laughs> No, but no, but you just you just no, said that I, it wasn't it, about immersion. You said it was about it being. I don't want to do this. Don't want to do this. But it was about being authentic. Ah. And now yeah, you're talking about immersion. The word, I never used the word authentic. No, but I'm trying point. to remember what you used. I'm trying. Well, you said something like as if you were implying that food was linked to the economy. Like so. I'm, no, what, he he was. What, like people said, it. someone said in chat as but well. Like if, if you if you why farm if point. you haven't if it's not going to have any benefit. It's it, there's two ways of looking at it. There's like as madness says, there's farming just purely for profit. So it's the same way as mining. You you don't necessarily you're not going to use those raw materials as such. You're not going to go out take those raw materials that you mined, go yeah. back into your workshop and turn it into something. You're going to sell it onto the open marketplace. Yeah. So there's yeah, like that exactly. type of farming. But then there, yes, there is the alternative other type of farming where you could say grow drugs, grow food, and actually sell that to a player that could eat it as a buff. So the there is two kind of ways of doing it, I suppose. But if you, I, I presume most people would go into farming for profit. Yeah, because farm, because like the way you just nailed it, like like at the moment we can't build ships with the resources, the refined resources that we're mining, because they said that not right building, now. No, but they've said we said that we're not going to be able to make ships in the game. Yeah, but we can make outposts. I don't yeah, know. but you're not gonna you're not, you're not gonna turn that or yourself into something it'll be deposited into a box uh you say that now they've said that we are and aren't going to be able to do lots of things and then magically go oh look what we did i uh, know we're not we're not talking about the hypothetical we're talking about what we know currently is what i'm saying i compl- i'm cool with right. you, like this whole conversation this whole conversation is hypothetical it started with yes. buffs it's facts around fucking we're about, food we're the whole about, thing it's, is hypothetical it's, it's, it's totally we don't know factual. anything is gonna happen <laughs> it's all facts i mean come on look look at us we clearly know what we're talking we about nothing. clearly we, fa- we clearly apple no, I, confirmed i completely agree with <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apple picking and food picking. I, I don't have a problem with farming. I, I like I said, I just I, but when you're linking it to the consumption, so you're like I said, so in certain places like where there's obviously more people, they're going to eat more food, which means the value of food will go up exponentially. So if you're going out into s- other systems, then the value of food will yeah, come down. Yeah, so because that's because they want to build the economy. So if people are consuming food, are you telling me that they wouldn't link somehow the sale of crops? to food well I, I like i said i don't 
I think that's really cool, but I just... It's really complicated, no? But you think it's so... And then we're going to eat food... The whole like, game is complicated. Every no, I, tiny little thing is I know. complicated. That's what I mean. My point is, is like, at where do you kind of like... At, one, at some point, you have to kind of say, it's like, where does, where's the line? Where's this, there's this, 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 this kind of imaginary between fun and just fucking boring and far too wrapped up in simulation? It doesn't, doesn't necessarily make it boring simulation. There's it just line. makes it... Where's the line? Yeah, there's the line. line. Right by there. Like, okay. <laughs> I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm not like, I'm playing, I don't know. No, I I don't, know. what you're saying is true. Like, and that's what I just explained. The same way if we played other, if anyone's played any other space games that do trading and things like that, there's, there's drugs, there's food, there's everything else. That doesn't mean your character can then go around and take drugs. It's just a commodity. And it's, it's just to vary, to vary what commodities, commodities are available on the marketplace. Um, and like I said, that's probably what food's more likely to be. If they link it to people eating food, that would be cool. But I think I don't think it'll work in that respect because, let's say you're growing corn and you go and sell that, it's going to be crates of it and it's going to be in, in unit size. Um, whereas maybe in the labs that they've got where you could make a certain plant that you could sell as an individual plant, that'd probably be whether that would be less likely to go on an actual marketplace that you can buy it as a commodity through a market store rather than from another player. That's maybe more the way you're going to, you're going to grow those sort of things. Cause I can't imagine, well, selling uh, a drug thing that's going to do massive, I don't know, massive boosts and then sell that on the marketplace. But then yeah, that's what you got the endeavor for is to farm in big resources rather than just a small little farm. So who knows? Yeah, I just, I'm interested. It's interesting. I, I think we, we know we're going, there's going to be much more of this going forward as they, once they perfect the, the HUD and the, um, the way we interact with the world of economy, we'll start to see more of this. I'm going to be interested to see. Um, obviously we're at tier zero now, I guess, or even tier not point minus zero, whatever it is, the first iteration. Um, so we'll see more. I'm interested. I, like I said, I don't, I'm not anti everything. I just, I just, I just, I don't want it to be. I just don't want, like I said, I don't want to get too wrapped up in silly. Why, why would you worry about something that doesn't really impact you? Like if you don't but, have well, to does, do it, farm, right? then why? In the game? No, I, I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm going back to food. food. So oh, food. To okay. Food and the buffs. On oh, the buffs. If you don't the have buffs. to do it. Yeah, okay. Why would you worry about it? And this is my whole point about balancing it. If you don't, why if you it's don't so have to, that they balance it. If you don't do it, then I just I won't. I'll I'll do it for like videos and for like role play and just to laugh and like you know vending machine have a camp shh, you know whatever you know just or you know just I just role play this for me it feels like it's it'll be a lot of fun for well, the people who want to role play it. I suppose it's about what what buff would you say that it could give you that wouldn't ruin balance? Two percent to running. Do you know what I mean? It's like whatever, but for every buff you get a debuff. I'm just throwing that like no, just, into the wind. I'm not saying that's something yeah, yeah, that can yeah, yeah. be done, but you know, so you, I mean, but but, but then, some people argue that even that two percent of running is an advantage over someone that doesn't eat. Yeah, but most of this 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 game is, is skill. Like if you've got somebody running at you, a, who is, that is a skill, like, though? but that's what I'm, I'm saying. Shut up, shut up for I'm, a second, I, and please let me finish. Right, you got somebody running at you, and wow, they've got their two percent running buff. But if you're a better shot than them. That two percent running buff ain't gonna do jack shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I know if... what you're saying. I'm just that, that's what people's arguments will be: is any form of buff that gives you an advantage. It's like we're having. Like I'm not gonna. We don't go for it forever because this conversation could just go around in circles. Yeah. But yeah. People yeah, are yeah, yeah. saying the same about the loot boxes in terms of like um, certain games being paid to win because well, you're not paying to win. You're just buying these ships that are giving you an, a, a head start in the game at the start, whereas other people say, no, that's paid to win. And it's like, well, it's not. It, it's not. But you know what I mean? People get arguing about things like that because it's an, a, giving someone else an advantage. So technically, even if it's just 2%, it's still an advantage over somebody else. And if you're really competitive, you're playing something extremely competitive, then it means that you have to match that comp competition. Okay, so let let me let me put it another way. Say they gave me ten percent power to my guns. Do you think I would be any better at taking out madness? Because in a ship, because I'm pretty sure madness would still wreck me. Well, okay, here's the way I look at it. Let's just say you and I were having a fight, and you had pyros, and I was using size one guns. I guarantee it. Will you the chances of me surviving against you because you've got that 
greater a percentage of damage from your pyros would probably kill me. But I'd still because have to the- be able to hit you first, and I can't hit jack shit. You don't have to hit... Well, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's getting it's a slightly different but i know what you i hear what you're trying to say you're trying to no, but I hear what you're trying to say you can't look with you, pra- you can't look at it that way you can't look at it as an unskilled pilot versus a skilled pilot what you've got to look at is two evenly two matched evenly. pilots and then yeah, one yeah, easing yeah. the buff yeah yeah that's yeah. how that's you have what, to compare as, it the yeah, one easing the buff and now yeah, yeah. the one that's what it i will never, it, it will it will never be fair like you're never gonna well, of course go it will of course it will you'll have two people at the same level so like when you're doing the, the competition you've got two people that are as good as each other and then one has yeah, a part at the competition level, level but we're you know playing what? an MMO. The, it's not a competition the, level. The problem is, I didn't have my breakfast that morning when I entered that competition. Whereas he did. <laughs> he had his he had his Weetabix and had a two exactly. percent buff in the competition versus me, and that was the difference. Anyway, it's an interesting one. We'll see how we go. So we'll talk about this. This is going to be competition. Let us know what we'll you think, chat. Times. Yeah, yeah. Just I'm and interested. We'll, if you got, we'll if move do you on. want? Do you want? And we're not food, arguing, by the way. This is how we like to roll. Yeah, we like yeah, to make a discussion out of things. It's a chat. Um, it's definitely a dialogue. Um, the, the other... Okay, so here's an interesting thing. So I won't bring... Again, I'm gonna, I don't want to change screens because it's a nightmare, but it's to do with the hover bikes. In 3.1.4, there's been... People have been saying... I think Board Gamer said on Captain's Table um, that he felt that there was an improvement to the hover bikes. I've seen a few videos recently where a few people have shown it looks it appears to be a general improvement to the way that the hover bikes work but there's a survey that's been out there and so and there's a few people in spectrum there was a um someone was talking about basically very simple i see it's every week every week there seems to be someone asked the same question is why do space bikes fly in atmosphere and moons um the question is i want the hover bikes to one be able to only hover um, not be able to fly in atmosphere, meaning leave hover mode and move like a regular vehicle in space using its thrusters. I think that's what most people kind of, I think, kind of assumed that that's what these bikes and these vehicles, we spoke about this before, I think other people do, but it seems to be a real, it's constant. It's this, this is a very regular thing that gets put up on Spectrum, gets put up on Reddit. Now, somebody on Reddit has put together a a survey and this survey, um, let's just see if I've got it here. Uh, da, 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 da. they put up a survey and it showed that the overwhelming majority of people said exactly the same thing um, Would the, should, the, should the space bikes be able to do different things and most people hovering above the ground I swear to god every single person that's done it has literally said hover on the ground and nobody wants it to, pretty much no one wants it to do anything else but just fucking hover on the ground so I think that it's Thank working you. better Thank it's, God, it's, it's working better but you know I think that's what everyone wants. I don't think right? it's working better. Like I haven't personally tried it, but I watched Detox last night, no. and it was just as <laughs> shit, just as shit. Let me see if I can. In fact, he took his hand off his mouse, right, and the thing was going absolutely insane. Really? Here we yeah, go. Right. it was. Is it was it, bad. Is, let me see if I can do this without it freaking out too much. Have you got a link to? Sorry, I've got it. It's working. Reddit post. You can look with a thing. There we go. go Space bikes. This is a good post. 134 people responded. Obviously, it's a small section. You need a bigger, greater section. But here we go. This is the questions he asked. Flying in space like a ship. 51% kind of like 50 or whatever it is. 50 of the, the number said. And then hovering. Of 133 people asked, 122 people said, agreed that it should just hover. Yeah. I think that's and, and we all I say think it, it, everyone talks really about it. it would be nice if they kind of just took a step back and then made it like the ground you know like the cyclone and everything else it, 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 it's a ground vehicle just make it a ground vehicle and let it hover um, again to go, go to go that. back to the citizen con demo where they first showed off the dragonfly that set the expectation and it wasn't flying through the air it was hovering one or two feet from the ground for the entire video and that's what people bought yeah and that's what we want. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. And I just give the, what's the phrase? Give the people what they want and they will love you for it. Gladiator. Yes. Never mind. We'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so that's that. That was interesting. Like I said, it's just because it's always coming up every week i'm doing this research somebody else is constantly asking and making a point about this hover bike thing. Um, here's uh, okay so here's the thing i didn't know this is a learning lesson for me i'm always like people talk about reddit not being very useful but i always find it useful because i learn stuff and i didn't know that the tally is supposed to have modules did you guys know the tally was supposed to have modules 
I mean, Miz might do because he's older than me as a backer, I but I never, but I, don't know I much never about knew. Italy, to be fair. Supposedly, he says here, and he says, back in 2013, 2014, I don't remember when, but they've disappeared. He says, I have a look, but the anniversary sales have them. As I recall, there was a module for a cargo, social, a troop deployment, researching question marks, and medical. Um, and then he says, and he talks about some other ideas that he has, but I just didn't, I wasn't aware that the tally was supposed to be module. Now, the, he, he might, this it might have already been debunked, and it might actually be that they're not going to do modularity and on on this bomber or anything but i was just curious if anyone knows if that's going to be a thing this is for chat they do the, we, we touched on it a little bit last week but they, they're working on the modularity system so because they haven't got that working we're not seeing modularity in some of these ships um but they have already said they are still they are still aiming to have modularity more so in the bigger ships than maybe the smaller ships which makes it a little bit more complicated but uh yeah so um, i think it is still the thing it's just not in the pipeline yet okay so that's the options amazing because sure, sure. i love oh, okay. i love the style of the tally and I've, i could have like a troop transport or a living bay version of it like I, so I, that I, that was the options was it sherman okay cool and is that still going to is that still planned then in theory that's still planned to go ahead with that modularity so that's pretty cool oh just by the way guys just a just a heads up i am on baby alert so if my missus suddenly comes to me and suddenly starts having contractions I have to disappear rather quickly. <laughs> so we might live birth on the asylum. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the web. Don't we'll, we'll, we'll carry do the, the breathing exercises. Take everything to my brief. We all, all support me in this time. Um, relevant star citizen trades for mods. Here we go. Let's have a look. What you got? What you sent me, Zach? Let's have a look. Retaliator base, front cargo module, uh, front dropship module, front living module, front torpedo module, uh, torpedo module, heavy bomber, rear cargo module, rear living module, and a rear torpedo module. Okay, interesting. Those are still planned, uh, but grand scheme, they're not immediately important. No, of course, no. It was just yeah. something I learned. I didn't know about it. I was. I always thought the, the retaliator was very specifically just going to be a. Um, a torpedo boat. I didn't realise that it would actually potentially have, you know, living modules and it could be a bit more, you know, have cargo. And Because at the moment, you know, it has zero cargo. So, you know, I didn't understand. But now I see it. I'm like, oh, this is an interesting. This is actually going to be a bit more of a versatile ship than what it currently is, which is quite cool. That explains why a few people have them. Quite interesting. Um, that was all. Just I learned something um, and I, I thought I'd share it with everyone. Uh... Hang on, let's go... Oh, actually, here we go. Right, this is the big one. So I wanted to compare the game. Remember, I, I, Dark Citizen is the kind of a phrase I use to refer, sometimes when I play the game. I've said this a few times. I find the game to be a little bit dark. Now, somebody's done a really great video comparing, again, the 2.6.3 and the current game. So it's always a good way to kind of, like, go back over the game and really kind of see the improvements and also how dark it's become. So um, let's see what you guys think. So let's just bring it back onto the, uh, the other channel. And I shall play this. So that's 2.6.3. This is, this is 2.6.3. And then this is 3.1.0. So it's obviously the few, maybe a few more improvements since this video. But 2.6.3. 3.1. Yeah, put a lot of yeah. lights in. Yeah. Put a lot of lights inside. Output, which is quite so which is pretty cool i was like okay so they definitely relit the interiors which is really nice really it nice. is nice to see it that way though like um seeing the change because sometimes when you mm. it's implemented and you're seeing it all the time you don't notice yep. that yeah um and they're always doing lighting passes and things like that and, and like they said they've reduced like the poly count for some of the lights and things like that so that it uses less resources um and i know there were some things that when we first went to i think it was 3.1 and we were looking at the the doors and we all said like oh these are different there's something yeah. that we couldn't necessarily work out yeah. what it was but like something's here changed here and here they are this is the doors now mm. I, and i agree i do think i mean a lot of people do complain and have complained that it's dark um yeah and it, it, there was something they showed, I think, on ATV again this week, which was it was interesting because I think it was the it was at the address they were showing the internal parts, and it was nicely lit. And I thought, oh, at last, something that's bright. And then they showed you a level, and again, it was back to the. And I get you're trying to get atmosphere and stuff, and it was really dark. But I, I can't wait till we can go to some places where we've actually got some nice light mm -hmm. places, and, it, and not just pure white, crystal clear, clean 
um, surfaces from like the shiny posh ships, but just some normal looking places. Yeah, I get that. So- I mean, some things don't look a huge difference, but this is where you see quite a staggering difference is when you see space. Like, when you look at this bit here, it's and you think... It's probably yourself, because they're using the di- the light from the actual light source. It's darker. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think so. Which yeah, is yeah, why yeah. you're getting the dar- the light and dark from the planets and stuff. So that's probably what's done it. Darkness. Oh, not all them so stars. Much, yeah. I mean, people say, I mean, you look at that. Look at that, the whole side of the moon. is uh, so whole side of Selen disappears. Whereas in two ways that you can see, I mean, I think it's better. Don't get me wrong. I'm not just disagreeing. It's more realistic. Um, space is dark at the end of the day, but it is, I think it's, it is amazing when you see it, you see. I frequent scale. one though, the Ola is mm. nice with the, with the name oh, yeah. behind it and stuff. Oh yeah. Like it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. The, the detail of space is stunning. Um, but it's just, it does, like I said, they need to have a think about how we see things in the, in the darker situations. If there's a way of, for certain scenarios, not for these ones, but more when you're getting close to like asteroids. The only thing and shit. I've noticed where it's a bit of an issue is it seems to be when you are dogfighting. I don't know if it's just your mm. screen or what, but it, no, no. The, the other ships that's are dark. really dark, and it's, yep. it could be that you're just on the dark part of the planet, and maybe that's more realistic. Um, Look at that, I, I you see how much side, so. you can. Cons- I mean, you can just see how much. I mean, this granted, the light is in a slightly different yeah, angle that's, here. That's only realistic, s- though. Only slightly, and I know it's not realistic. I know, I know, it's not. It they're is- not going for realism, and yeah, I agree, it's too dark. Wow, there's but, so much is yeah. lost. I mean, it's great to see as well this, the reskinning of like the Hornet. Like, oh my god, it's so beautiful that like, you can see the quantum jumping. <laughs> it's stunning. But again, that's the other thing they need to balance because although in realism, if they're using that light source and it's supposed to be dark, it's still the game, as we've said last week, and it's meant to be uh, a balance between it being realistic and a game and actually being enjoyable. So if we need more light in there somehow, then they need to hopefully find a way to to bright it up a little bit. have already added some light when you're actually down on a moon now. Yeah. Um, So it is a little bit lighter, but it's when you're further away from the moon, the dark side. I didn't. To be honest, I didn't mind too much about it being very dark on the moon because I felt like that was, but uh, more accurate to a certain degree. I didn't mind that, but it's just like when you're in space, which you can't avoid being dark. uh, You need to be able to see stuff. It doesn't help as well. We don't have any warning systems or anything like that to warn us when we're approaching the dark side of a moon. So most people just smash straight into the moon moment. Yellow blew me away. (laughs) Look at yellow. Look at yellow. Look at yellow before. Look at this. And now look at it now. When you see it in a second, you'd be like, "What? That's crazy." Yeah, Yeah. changed it a lot. Yeah, crazy how much more. I mean, bigger and also just the sheer like it looks gorgeous. Like light and yeah, it's I, I. yeah amazing <laughs> it's well impressive like we just forget that's the why i like to do these like kind of recap videos over just kind of like to show the progress of the game because people just forget you know you just assume you keep thinking you know we get a lot of people coming in and trolls and they talk about the game not progressing well here yeah. you go there's yeah. big improvements going on and also there are parts where you go okay well maybe that's not a good move on you know well, that's what that's the, that's why we have these chats it's like well, well that's maybe too far in the wrong direction maybe we need to pull mm. it back it wasn't that bad. It just shows how 2.6... It wasn't that bad. I looked at it and I was like, ooh, 2.6.3 was pretty good. Like, no wonder I was playing this game. <laughs> it's like, no wonder I was feeling the Star Citizen back in the day. Anyway, thank yeah. you so much for watching. Um, whoever put this on the video, I'll give them the shout out because I think they did a great job on the video, which was Hawk's Genius. Very, very cool video, dude. Massive respect um, to you. And I'm trying to think, whilst I've got this open... Um, so, actually, no. so anyway, so that's the issue with the light. I don't know what you guys think, but they definitely need to improve the light a little bit so we can see stuff. I agree well, with boys. they have people purely working on lighting, don't they? So I'm sure it's going to it'll improve. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I, I do like the atmosphere of the darkness, like you said, but I think there is instances like when dogfighting and when um, in the dark parts of like kind of like hex and stuff that where it would be cool if we had an option, we could kind of change the the ray of light that we see so we can maybe pick out things like we talked yeah. about the visors. Like you I can think see I, I, I'm a, whatever. Yeah, I'm a bit long with Asnog as well. I would like brighter lights on the ships. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, because that's the one way to counter it is so you can actually fly along with some, ex- you know, proper lighting on your vehicles to, to yeah. floodlight things a bit better. Because then you still get that atmosphere, but you still get 
I think that would be a nice balance of both. Then. It would be nice to have top lights on the on some of the um, the cyclones and stuff, you know, so you could get the lights on the top as well, like the top bar lights. Yeah, yeah. So you just definitely. get because sometimes you're turning it on and off, and it's especially the ship ones. I'm like, I don't even know if my lights are on. It's, no. it doesn't seem yeah. to do anything, and it's like this, surely it should be brighter. <laughs> <laughs> they need a little they need a little logo in the corner, which just kind of flashes. Otherwise, on people think I'm right? dogging where I'm just keep flashing the lights on my ship, <laughs> trying to see whether it's working or. <laughs> <laughs> All some dogging going on over there in the in the Connie. Someone's having some fun. Um, <laughs> steamy windows now because now we've got the glass in ATV. So now we're gonna have the glass we steaming are, up. So we so can have to put steamy windows. Ha- Handprints on and lights flashing. It's literally it's all going a bit full on. <laughs> the aurora's rocking like this. Uh, it's oh, even got suspension. It's, it's got suspensions in it as well. Oh my god, the fun we can have. Wait till the female characters come in. It's gonna go all wrong. Um. So yeah, so that's the dark thing. I think we're all in agreement. Kind of work on is this game still coming out at some point eventually? Yeah. Um, the mouse wheel of uh oh yes. So here's my thing. Okay, so when you how do you feel when people say that they want to upgrade their ships and stuff? How do you feel as a streamer? Like when when people talk about you know because I've been in the game for a while. I understand how much money can be involved in investing into the game. How do you feel when you see and you read people talk about, you know, they're upgrading their ship because they're talking about upgrading their ship like a game. They're not talking about backing. They're not talking about backing the game. They're not saying I'm giving money because I want to invest in the development of the game. They're physically wanting to give money because they want to get a better ship to get a better experience. don't, don't, Don't get me wrong. You know, I want to back the development of the game, but I also want awesome ships. Mm hmm. So I bought the ships because I wanted the ships. I didn't necessarily buy it because, you know, if, if somebody said, oh, would you would you give SIG £5,000, just £5,000 no. with no reward? No. God, no. I wanted the ships, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, and when people, when I have people come in my channel and they say, should I back this game? And they, they don't play at all. I tend to say, no, not unless you know a lot about it and you follow it very, very closely and you're aware of how much of a um, mess it can be at times and you're aware of the type of computer that you're going to need to play it. But if I have somebody come in my channel, they're already playing, they're aware of what it is and they say they want to upgrade, doesn't even cross my mind. I'm happy that they want to upgrade. If it makes them happy, yeah. fantastic. I'm happy with people being happy. So, yeah, I mean, uh, the same. It's it's their money, and they can afford to do that, and that's what they want to do. Then that's fine. There is one thing that maybe, if, uh, and maybe this is what you're kind of touching at, is I do see when people say I'm new to the game, I want to get what starter ship shall I get, and then people are going, well, if you spend a little bit more, you can get the Titan X, which is better, and, and that I feel like is a little mm-hmm. bit like, well, you shouldn't have to. You should be able to just back and buy the game. Um, and it's so then people looking at going, oh, so if I want to actually enjoy the game, I need to spend the 60 quid rather than the 40 quid, and then it starts to getting a little bit, uh, and that, that, like that, really I'm, not so happy with, I'm not so happy with new backers 100. being sort of feel like they need to go and get a better ship to enjoy it. Um, that's what, that's, is, that's but, what but yeah, if we were all, if you are, you, I mean, people would stand here and say, well, you know, you can get an Aurora, and I had a really good time in Aurora, and you all you need is an Aurora, and then I asked them, I go, so what ships do you have in your fleet? You know, and then and then and then immediately you gen you tend to and there's the odd person that comes and says I just have an Aurora and I'm like okay fair enough fair, fair enough I listen to you but most of the people that you say that to me you ask them and they've got literally a fleet of ships because you know, the Aurora is, for five minutes yeah yeah and that's the reality but, 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 it's like the, the, yes you can at the same but, time if I, I if I have a if I have a friend who's working part time for their local supermarket and they really don't have much money no. I wouldn't necessarily want the, to see them struggling and saving up like, well, it's essentially what I did. I worked for Asda. I started off full time with them and then it got cut down and cut down and cut down. I ended up on 16 hours. I was struggling to feed myself, yet I was trying to save for uh, an Avenger when I had an Aurora package and it took me ages to save for that avenger if anybody else is in that situation no i would say hold off if you've got the money to blow then fair enough but we're so close now to being able to buy ships in the game just wait <laughs> you know yeah no you're right and, and, and as not just said it there as well it's, it's true it's it's if you're saying that you need to play this game you need to back more then then you're wrong because it's not a game yet 
It's so just hold off, hold off until then buying a £45 package is enjoyable because you know you can upgrade your ship later <laughs> in game. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it. It's just it's the way sometimes it comes across with people's replies a lot. It's like, <laughs> oh, just just spend a bit more and get this. Just spend a bit more. Well, I think that's the, but that's the reality because we're coming from an ex, we're coming from a, a situation where we've obviously been playing the game for longer, and so you've kind of gone bored. You're bored of the Aurora, you, you know. You, there's no other you know other word for it. So you want to get you, you get bored and you want to play other ships, and you have we have a bit more experience. And I just it's just like I said, I watch I read it on Reddit and I see people and I'm just kind of playing. You know the kind of the the curious how you guys feel about it when you hear people talk about you know oh no, I think you if, know if I want we, to upgrade and if we hadn't do. if we hadn't heard anything about being able to buy ships in game then yeah I'd be more concerned but at this point it's almost like a is it worth really well it's always worth having the discussion but it's like <laughs> what well, well the thing so is close, like you know even even like yeah and that's the thing is it's like I I'm always torn because I don't want them to s- waste money. If that's what they want to be, if that's what they're about, if they're about just the ship and they're not about back in the game and wanting to see it and they don't want to see, you know, they want to be part of the world and then all the rest of it, but they, uh, and they're just giving it for the, the ship just to enjoy the ship. Then I'm kind of a bit like, I don't want to can, encourage them to do it. I want them to wait. You know what I mean? I mean that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you guys, I can I, to can I just say that but Bigston has just exactly proved my point. So in back in the day, you could buy an LN as a starter package, which is actually the very first thing I bought. And most, what yeah. most people do say, if you if you want a decent Aurora, if you've got a good, and that used to be the best starter package, you'd get an Aurora and LN, it's a good little mm. fighter ship, a good little thing that can do everything. But now you can't, you have to upgrade the MR to it. But that's what we're saying. We're trying to say, really, you shouldn't have to say that to new people. And straight away, he says, well, just upgrade it. It's only another $5 if you upgrade the MR. But that's straight away. You're saying to somebody, buy the game for $45 oh and then pay a little bit more for the next ship up because the one just started was no good and that's what we're trying to say I don't think that's right you shouldn't feel that you have to do that to enjoy it because it's spending more money straight away yeah it's not no you're not really being true and then if you say and if anyone asked me really truthfully like how much money should you truthfully spend on the game I would probably say Honestly, I think the Cut- Cutlass is probably the best ship to buy to really truly enjoy the game because I think it does the most variety and enables you to do the most bits to enjoy the the, the game at the moment. I know Asnog, and I know Asnog, you said about not the game, and I agree with what you're saying when you talked about like it's not a game yet and stuff. But I'm, you know, again, it's that whole kind of understanding what you're playing versus what you're testing. It's we're in such a, a, a like an unknown area of conversation, like in terms of game. Well, is it a game? It's alpha. It's not alpha. Even CIG talk about, they don't like to refer, you know, Chris Roberts said last year, he doesn't really refer to it, labeling it as like alpha, early access or whatever it is. You know know what? This kind of brings it back to what I was saying earlier, where I, I, when people ask me whether they should get the game and I say no, you know, if you feel like you want to upgrade because you only have an Aurora right now, maybe you should hold off playing until there are actual game mechanics where you can actually yeah. play a game where the Aurora actually is worth something. You know, where but, you can do you, missions you and can, then work though. your way up. And, well, Aurora you can, can do. But, you can do missions and you can carry cargo yeah. in the Aurora, can't you? The MR, can you carry cargo Yeah, but I'm, I'm only thinking back to 3.0 where, because my case study is Cecil, who's one of my real life friends and one of my mods. He only has an Aurora. Now it's not, it's different now. You can actually make money from missions to a certain degree now, but the only way to make money realistically in 3.0 was by running cargo. And he couldn't, he wasn't making any money because he's only got that one SCU. You yeah, know, so it's so. just so difficult. So he sat there watching all of us with our Cutlass Blacks and our Caterpillars and whatnot making money. Um, and I couldn't even trade money to him or anything like that. You know, which is just, and, and I know that's almost resolved now, but. But it's the same in the, the arena. Game is I think the guns changing. are so light pew pew that people are not surviving even in yeah. arena commander to try it out that way either it's like this mr doesn't even shoot vandal it's like, you know and what, what so. i'm basically trying to say is once we have a wider selection of missions where you have tiers where you're going up against um pirates of different difficulties and you can actually pick a fight with an aurora that you're not going to lose etc etc you know then and you can also buy ships then you'll be able to work your way up. You go from the Aurora to the Avenger, then you could do the tier two missions and then 
you save up doing the tier two missions and you get whatever's next and do the tier three, so on and so forth. You know, that's kind of the point I'm trying to make. If people feel like they have to upgrade right now, then no, if, if people can afford it, I'm happy for them. If they can't, just hold tight, really. Hold we, we know the fix is coming. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> yes. Okay, that was it. I was just like I say, people to kind of sum it up. It's the it's the hamster wheel. It's the you know you once you get on it. Like I was the uh, same. I wasn't going to get on it. I was started off and I said, nope. The people are crazy to spend this money. I'm just going to have a Mustang a Mustang Alpha. And now look at me. <laughs> like <laughs> it's completely you know. Eventually you kind of get bored of it. And I was like, I can't win. I can't win. I can't win in can't win competitions. I realized if I really want to learn, I, I have to I have to spend the money. So to, to this was. Another on the similar line, uh, another topic that came up is should they have different priced starter ships? I mean, if if like this around the hundred I, for example, it's like like you're looking at it saying this is how you buy and back the game, and you can get the, the two, the Aurora and the Mustang for a certain price. Oh, but if you pay a little bit more, you're still getting a starter ship, but it costs more. Should should that really be a thing? Should I, they have I... it more expensive? It's, diff- it's tricky because then it's like, I, the way I look at it is, you know, when you buy, say, for example, I buy um, God of War, okay? You have the standard edition God of War now, then you have the limited edition God of War, and then you have Everything. the deluxe, the deluxe version of, of God of War or whatever it is, which is like 150, 200, and it maybe gives you like a 3D model or whatever. It does exist in other pl- other mediums having the set, you know, they still, all you still ultimately all get the get the, the, the game, but you might get a skin or an exclusive gun or exclusive. So it does exist. It, it's, um, so for me, I'm not too, I don't, I don't mind it too much. Um, I just just find it a little bit weird still it's just, maybe it's the language they use i can understand what you're saying i just but it doesn't surprise me too much i think if they said like that you know starter edition deluxe starter edition you know maybe kind of but like you're not gaining anything extra other than a different ship that they've just decided to price more i know so, that's the bit that i agree with you on that's the bit i agree with you completely i just it just doesn't if you're new to the game and you don't understand the mechanics and that because not everybody's going to know yeah. everything but just basically looking at it, it's like well why does this starter ship cost so much more than these two starter ships if well, you I, buy, I, which, yeah, which is supposed to be the fastest is the mustang right yeah uh no so, uh is it yeah, is it out the starter mustang. yes out of the starter ship is it is it okay okay so if i'm fairly new to the game or I don't really know anything about the game, and I want to drop my however much money it is into the game. Like, a lot of people I don't think are going to be savvy enough to go, oh, which one is the fastest? Oh, which one has the most shielding? So they're going to buy it. And then if you... If that's... that's, Yeah, exactly. And then if you end up with something like a Mustang and, you know, speed jousting, whatever, isn't really your style of gameplay, then you're you're kind of fucked and stuck with that really. And the only way you can really change that is by either downgrading to one, because I think, it, yeah, an Aurora is slightly cheaper, isn't it? Which is fine. Or upgrading to a 100i. Like, I completely agree with, I think it was Driz in, you, you, well, no, I don't think you can, can you? you can, so you I can completely agree with, well, you can Which melt, another, though. You, but, yeah, but then you you lose your game package if it's bought as well. You lose your game, game package. package. So yeah. yeah. So can't. I completely I completely agree with Driz. Like if it costs one dollar more than an Aurora, it's not a starter package, in my opinion. I definitely do not view the one hundred I as a starter package. Yeah. I I can just about get away with the Mustang, but yeah, that's about it, really. Well the Mustang yeah, and the, I agree. They, they're the same. The Mustang and the Aurora. Are the, the Mustang same. and the MR are the same price, yeah. Oh, okay, I, well, there we go. In some ways, like if you think of most games like I'm trying to think of another one, but like as a starter ship, I don't know what it's like in well, you you'll know most because you've done it, but like even something. Like are the starter ships more a little bit of everything? So they're more balance or do they have yeah, I th- like, I, I is it the same thing in there? You go I think I think they ship. are all slightly different. Okay, so but, you might get a faster one in that, or yeah. A... But you can you can very easily switch to one of the other um, if you realise that that isn't the ship for you. Then you can very easily switch to one of the other races, noob ships. But mm. if de- depending on they're the, not depending, that different, really. you can't swap. You can't swap like for like value though. You can only swap. This is what I'm saying. You can only they've they've made the system. Yeah, as far no, as no, I'm no, yeah. Someone correct me. Well, this is what the I'm money. saying. This is the problem. The money. 
You have to pay more. Every time you have to pay a bit more. You can never go backwards. Somebody in Reddit asked the same thing. They said, oh, I have a Sabre. I had. An, I started with a. He bought an Aurora, then he upgraded to a Saber, and then he upgraded to a Super Hornet. But then he wanted to. When he didn't like the Super Hornet, he wanted to go back to the Saber. Couldn't do it. He had to melt the package, and then of course you forget these ships are not readily available all the time. Sabers and Super Hornets, they're exclusive. So then he was. Unless he can go to the CCU and buy it back, I don't know if that's possible still. I think. If to be honest, it, though, I think it's higher up ships, it's a little. It's a little bit different. You're, you're yeah. starting to invest in the game that you know about, and you're investing yeah. in something that you're aware of. I'm just. I, I'm a little bit more yeah. on the starter packs because you're okay. new to the game. You don't necessarily know anything, and I, I think it would be kind of nice if there was just a way that you could. These are your three starter ships, and you could just swap between them. Uh, you know, so I, I've got this high oh, speed. I'm not really up to speed and racing. It just doesn't fit me. Right, I'll swap to this one um, because you don't necessarily know until you tried the game. At least once you've tried the game, you can go. Well, combat's really cl- sluggish in this MR. I want something that's a bit more nimble. Uh, or if you, you know, but then if you have the Mustang and it blows up like literally by someone looking at you, it's like, oh shit, I can't. I'm not a good enough pilot for this. I want something that's a bit more sturdy. You yeah. don't know that until you play the game. Um, so I think it would be nice even maybe yeah I mean this might be something that they do later on because uh, again we are still testing in early stages but I just think for a starter package it would be nice if you could swap between the starter ships maybe and I don't agree that I don't think you should have a more expensive starter ship I think they should yeah. be you're going to do them having the same price interesting uh, I mean we've got the um, I think Driz says is that you can still zero dollar CCU on some ships which I'd be curious to know which ones those ones are and some are available still. So, okay. Um, That's interesting. I just need to quickly say it's now curious. 10 past 11 and we're quite past that two hours and I have another call after this one before I can go to bed. So... Ah, okay. okay. If, if we can try and speedy, speedy. Speedy, 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 speedy. Well, we, we've got any, que- we got any questions? We can go to questions quickly and then we can... I'll run or we can go do ATV. Oh, oh I just broke the microphone. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> The mustache. It's the mustache. It's the mustache. It's the mustache. It's the fucking mustache. What did I do? Mrs. Been fiddling fiddling with my doobie. I literally didn't touch your equipment. I just (laughs) put it straight in. I don't believe you. I looked at it sticking. (laughs) I did look at it and go, "Shall I set this up? This looks so cool." I'm like, "No, I'm just leaving it in another room." Oh crap! (laughs) Actually, I got. I've got a question to chat. Does anyone know what's happened to the prowler? Fuck! Oh my god! What has happened? Oh my god, what has happened to my stand? The prowler's gone further down the load to get in I know what's happened to the... Oh, no, I don't. Is it, is it gone to the same place as the Redeemer? Are they both sat next to each other? Yeah, to be confirmed later on. Yeah. Okay, uh, yes. XOS Mark question in chat if anyone has any questions. Um, we have four at the moment. Okay, so I, I'm going to yeah. run ATV whilst we have a chat through the questions briefly, and then I'm just going to okay, quickly see... It. And then we can kind of have the ATV kind of run in, and then if there's anything you want to talk about on ATV that you guys thought was pretty cool, we'll, I'll go back to the beginning. I mean, I like the the, the, the glass stuff's pretty cool, but I don't want to... Um, I mean, I, I'm curious to see how scratched up. Is this going to be a case of we're going to be having to, again, disappear every five minutes to go and get it repaired because I can't see shit, you know? Again, we provide mm. feedback. Yeah, it's going to be bal- yeah, another balance thing, but yeah. <laughs> You know, but I'm, and there'll I'm be different ships that'll be more scratched. But that's what I've always been saying a bit about, like the, the Drake's going to be a little bit more of a throw things together type things. But if you then repair it and it's brand spanking new, <laughs> is, it, is it then still a Drake ship? Yeah, <laughs> true enough. But I like the idea. I like the seeing the damage states. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And this, see this. I don't know all this kind of kind of effects that they've got running on the glass and stuff, and it's really interesting. Yeah, I like it. It's cool tech. Okay. It's cool tech. I look forward to uh, going up to your canopy madness. And, and just scratch. Going, and just, no, 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 just going. Oh. oh. Then drawing a heart. Oh. <laughs> and, then once, and then once you do that, I'm going to get my keys and I'm going to do an arrow through <laughs> it. <my>, scratch <laughs> an arrow through it with my keys. <laughs> oh no instantaneously he's been near it i'll be like oh it's moist again but this is cool like all this like with the the the, the effects on the um the huds and stuff the which you'll see in a second yes. the interference yeah, i think that's, cool. that's sweet and mm-hmm. hopefully when they'll do the cracks and stuff they talked about all the cracks and the the all that effects it's great i like all this stuff really really cool and that's yeah. going to be that some electronic warfare going on there as mm. well and i like that going through nibblers it's going to be flying through different parts of space gives you some issues that's definitely cool gameplay that we we need, and we that'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Mm. 
should be good. So yeah, I'm looking forward to. Uh, but it's interesting how it only affects a ship, but not the helmet head. Yeah, the helmet looks fine. I would assume that's you, that's a long term goal, though. Yeah. Do you, know what that, so. do you know what that asked? That's the that was like somebody was asking the question about you know when you get out of your ship, you lose all the information that your ship had of like people's names and details and all that sort of stuff, and they said the same. Mm-hmm. They're like, why can't my helmet see all this information that my ship does? And yeah, and see, I've always questioned that, and I, I really hope because people say, oh, I don't want to see people's names above their heads. Well, if we're wearing a heads-up display in front of us, why not? It should be scanning. It doesn't right? make much sense. Maybe the module yeah, can sc- the scanner. You can have scanner. little transponders built into your suits, you know, that displays your name to people, for example, that you can turn on and off. And then that adds gameplay if you want to, like, smuggle or, or try yeah. pretend you're somebody else, you could hack it and mm-hmm. put a different name up. Yeah. The, um, this just, was what I was on about, but the interior is looking nice and light, you know, nice and bright, at yeah. least. Yeah. It's nice to have Yeah. Really, it's really nice. Quite clean, but, um, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the, I th- I'm, you know, pretty good. I wonder if you have to brush your teeth, you know, just in case, because otherwise we have bad breath. That could be a problem in the game, you know, mm. as we talked about Black earlier. bits out of my moustache. Smelling bad and bad breath could be bad. How are you going to pull the ladies if you don't brush your teeth, man? Exactly. Oh, you said it. Exactly. <sighs> be constantly, like, the screen, like, oh, I'm dying. <clears throat> Own breath in the helmet, <laughs> like, killing himself. As soon as you put your helmet on. <gasps> It's a good thing we've got the new glass shaders. I forgot to brush. I know. I know. You instantly tell, oh, this person's not brushed his teeth properly. Um, this is cool. Like, I, I honestly, all of this, that atmosphere is yeah, incredible. That's what I was talking about it being dark, but it does also have a really nice feel to it. So I'm not saying we shouldn't beautiful. have that. I'd just like to see some stuff that's also light. <laughs> it's beautiful. And all, all of these, like the damage displays and the crackly. I just love it. I love it. I love, I love the attention to detail, the fidelity. That That's never been mm-hmm. a problem for me. I always know they're going to do a great job on this because that's what they yeah. excel at. Absolutely excel at is creating atmosphere. and uh, it's, it's all built for cinema, right? It's film. Yep. These guys want to make a film game. That's the way I look at it. It's like a game that's like a film. Look at it. It's incredible. Mm. I'm not going to be happy yeah. until I see a banana peel on the floor. <laughs> until you can drop that banana peel on the floor. Slip. Mm-hmm. And I get buffs from that banana. Mm. So do you get buffs from slipping on the skin? No, you get a debuff. Yeah, exactly. Obviously. Exactly. Vanter says your ship should be able to transmit the radar and ship status to your suit. I agree yeah. completely. I don't yeah, see why I that's not that. a thing. I, you know, I, see, I, I love, love the way this that. As well, by the way, being able to yeah. inspect your guns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. So cool. Oh, and the Vandal turrets as well. They mm. look really cool. See, what do you think of this awesome. Vandal ship? I'm I'm not that keen on alien tech generally i'm not saying i don't like the designs i'm just saying i have no interest in it so like i find it very hard to like or dislike mm-hmm. i love it that's great mickey Pretty worked more. on this as well by the way oh yeah she said that her stuff was in yeah. this did 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 but she... mickey with a bright orange hair mm. yeah, yeah she's lovely yeah i love this i love the yellow gloves by the way i'm just gonna just go back to the, the gloves that Oh, yeah, it is actually yellow. That's nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. I wonder if we can do different colours and different have little pop colours in the suits and stuff. That was really nice. Mm. It's nice to see, obviously, if it looks like Carl Vorderman. Yeah. In space. Just give That's, me an, give me an gonna, O. Give me a vowel. A board now. Give, me, give me a vowel, <laughs> Carol. Carol. <laughs> if it oh, is, I, love his, I love his helmet. <laughs> there was, and what there was one thing I noticed with these animations is something they seem to have mm-hmm. concentrated on this part and concentrated on one of the hands, and a lot of them, the other hand, they seem almost like they forgot about. So, like him, he's holding oh, it. Yeah. Now, I know you would for a bit of it, but there's a time for ages. He's just and he, he's talking, and he's just got it up like that, up so don't like. Yeah, it my... <laughs> I don't. Yeah, know you need to remember hands. the other one still does stuff because it doesn't just stand there <laughs> like that. Even if the fingers just wiggle, they, they do move a bit. I love the <laughs> like here, like, by the way. Mm. He looks uh-huh. quite sinister. I'm going to kill intense. you. I am. Um, you don't know what he's saying. He might be saying, I'm uh, killing you. I'm killing you right now. I don't have the power he's saying. I don't have the power, Captain. That'd be kind of cool, though, when you can have, like, if you're the captain in the chair and then, like, the video, the screen pops up with him in the engineer because you want any more power and he's just, the AI is like, no, I can't do it, Captain. You know, that'd oh, be yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Of all that stuff. Um, 
this stuff is amazing the detail on yep. all these little props and stuff I the agree. um this person's done a really cool the idea of a 300 concept 300 where the 300 eye could go it's just like a drawing of Make it. it a bit th- fatter yeah it's kind of like i was like that's a really different styling like i wouldn't be against that though that's a yeah. very different that's a very different looking <laughs> shit i can't try and get it to lower that's very different looking with the um, cargo kind of module kind of thing in the back there. I thought that was really interesting. Kind of yeah. design. Quite a cool design. And then this was cool as well. Somebody's done this with the Tumbral spare tire. For the love of God, please get rid of that notification. Please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh Paul, this one. no. There we go. I uh, don't know what happened there. Oh, not that anyway. one. Oh, you're well, that wasn't me. That was a notification on that that actual web page, that channel that I went to. Oh, that was you just, annoying. You just, you just, you just oh. broke, broke. You just giving me virus. Don't worry basically. about it. Don't you just broke it. it. Anyway, it was um, this tumbrel. They put like a they put a spare tire on the on the top, and we've all lost our tires on our tumbrels. And I kind of like get. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, um, questions, and then we'll let Moist go because he's obviously tired, needs some sleep. So, uh, first question is from Mr. Yellow, and he says, as the Orion grinds rocks down to bits before it collects, um, as it does it this way, do you think it can grind down and store salvage? Mm. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. They don't want it to do that, so I would say no, because it kind of goes into, like, special tubes and stuff that it's doing, so no, probably not. I I don't think so. I'm not saying I wouldn't want to want it to, but I don't think they will. Uh, okay. Uh, next oh. question. Then, Amanda has got nothing to add. No, I have nothing to add. This. The guy's good. good. Okay. okay. How would you like a dedicated rearming ship to work, and maybe even look and manufacturer? Isn't dedicated rearming? Isn't the Vulcan? Uh, well, it's not dedicated, I suppose. But well. Ooh. Just to rearm people. That was one of the things I loved about Free Space to 2. To like honest. with Free Space 2, you would have to, if you run out of missiles and whatnot, you'd have to fly out of the battle, and then a rearming ship would come out of what next to you, and then dock on top of you and transfer more missiles, and then they would leave again, which I thought was a really nice touch, to be fair. It was actually one of my favourite aspects of that game. But I couldn't can't see how we kind of I mean that's it. kind of what the Vulcan's meant to do with the the, the drones um mm. but it's not dedicated just for that um yeah. it's not the sort of gameplay I'd be bothered about I, I could understand having it especially for big like um org battles and stuff but um not my sort of thing yeah and I don't it's... know manufacture it would just be one of the like anvil or something I would have thought if they did have one uh, next question is from Mr. Yellow again. Drone. Oh, I was going to say drones, drones. That would be my view of it. I would go with drones, like little robot drones that could go zip around the battlefield, rearming people. And like the Vulcan. Is that what the Vulcan is? Does the Vulcan do it with drones or does it do it with a uh, manual? Drones, yeah. It is drones. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Lots of like a Vulcan, yeah. Well, the, the Vulcan's got the drones that fly out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what alien race do you like to see a new ship from? Um, oh god, uh, all of them, <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yeah, all of them are desperately needing some new ones, but um, um yeah, I would them. probably use Yarn, maybe. I think we've had some well, concepts, I don't think we've actually had a we've only got the Yarn I scout. Kind of, I want concept from ships that we're actually going to get quickly because at the moment, like I was referring to, like the Prowler is a, is a new one from yeah, the Tavarian, and, and, and the Banu, and, and it's just, uh, not the Banu, and the Banu, um, you know, anything the defender, that's the Banu Defender. Anything that's like civilian or kind of not really a, like going to add anything to our kind of gameplay effectively in the immediate future won't happen. So I kind of don't want that. I, I, I'm like, I'm happy about the blade coming in because that's a new Vandal ship. I hope they put that on sale again. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would love a Gion ship, uh, another one, a big one with all the gravity. Uh, hopefully that's what we've seen. They call the capital ship coming, which will set the tone for all I, of their... I don't, I want, I want some alien freelancer slash cutlass size one i know one, like I, I want i want that too but they need to create the design aesthetic don't they yeah, they normally they keep, start it with a smaller changing. one don't they to do that uh, no it's normally bigger i always thought like like the 600 iron like um they always usually say it's the big ship that defines or middle size and then they defines yeah. the, the styling for the for the mm. whole series 
Um, but um, there's no set rule, I suppose. They have changed that rule quite a lot. <laughs> there's, there's a new PTU update, just saying. Mm-hmm. So everyone knows. So I can. Oh, is there a new, new PTU update? Nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. PTU 3.1.5. 3.2 confirmed. <laughs> um, actually, that's uh, here's my thing to you. Here's was do you think? I think I, I put it in the chat and I was talking about it in terms of like the re- problem with the money scenario with the game at the moment. The AUEC Alpha UEC is because we keep getting patches. This is the this is the good and the bad of the Delta patch. The good part of the Delta patch is we get updates and everything's improving. Love it. The problem is is they keep resetting the money all of the time. And so do you think when we have ships in game, they will still do that? Or do you think they'll be smart Every enough to say... Every time I log in, I have to pick my face. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. to pick my face anymore. Yeah. I've done it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you think they will I think everything's going to get reset. I think because of the way it's time. doing it, everything has to be reset every time until they get to the point where they're patching stuff that doesn't affect that. And they can keep it. Otherwise, I think it's just going to keep getting reset. Yeah. But then, then when they put ships in game, it will become a nightmare, and people will really hate it because you're like, I've saved all this time to. I'm ne- I'm so close. I'm about to get my favorite ship, the Cutlass. Woo! That will be. And that will be the biggest. It. That will. That will be and the then, biggest complaint. People complain they can't buy ships at the moment. That will be the as soon as you can yeah. buy ships. That will be the biggest yeah. complaint. I've saved up all this time, and now it's reset. And now it's reset. And I had one day and again. On it and that's it's where I think the community needs to really have that discussion at the time and put the pressure on to actually give us some alpha uec to start with yeah rather than just 10 grand like they keep doing on ptu just give us yeah chuck us loads of money so we can just we can't test it if we can't friggin test it (laughs) you know (laughs) we're not playing we're not playing the game we're testing but then i'm like you know it's you should have enough money but then yeah i mean i would love them not to i was thinking about this the other day i was thinking why don't they do this what they've done now which i think someone said before even here or somewhere else i've watched it have a live ptu i know it's expensive for service but just hear me out have a live ptu that goes on in the background and then have the live game that we have currently now which runs basically from 3.1 through to 3.2 and the ptu does the the brunt of the work that's, in terms of being reset rerun over and over and over and that way people then in yeah. the game 3.1 can have it keep their money and keep playing the game through unless because it you kind know, of I, feels I, like that at the moment like they've kept mm, the ptu going for yeah, quite a while at the moment what they're doing. And i'm loving seeing all the updates that's coming mm. out at the moment yeah, you know, and you can you can so. dip in, you know what I mean? You could dip in a little bit because the game's stable enough yeah. in three point. You know, you can dip in, play a bit of PTU. If it's buggy and not working, it's not much of an improvement. You can jump out and go into the more stable live version of the build and enjoy that, you know, and build your character yeah. that way. I've done both. I've built both characters and I'm playing in both arenas, as it were. I don't know. I just I was thinking that would be a good way of fixing it, you know. Yeah, they do, they, they, like, as, as Nuna said, that they do seem to have done that a little bit at the moment, and I do think that's a better. And maybe they've realised that with keep patching the live server, it's causing too many issues for those playing on live, especially if it's yeah. a bad patch. So maybe they've realised that, and by running this PTU, hopefully that's what they go do forward. Like keep running it and so. keep it going. Okay. Um, last and final question, which yeah. I know that we've done this before, so it's pretty quick and easy, but. It's one of Madness's mm. favourites. It's by Ditani, and he says, why don't they just give us access to all the ships? Ah, well, yeah. what's the question? Is it a very money, good money, question money. to you? Money! It's uh, all I mean, about that, money. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That's, 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 the, that's, that's the, the, really the long and the short of it. Money. I've, I've mentioned this a few times. I don't, as a backer of Can't the game, as we're all backers of the game, we should have access to test the game more effectively than we currently are allowed to. They, they definitely stop us from being able to, hopefully this, the t- real test is going to be in 3.2. What happens when the mining ship comes in and the mining mechanics come in? Because not everyone's got mining ship. Not everyone has a prospector. Are they going to give everyone for the entire patch between 3.2 and 3.3, a prospector to, to be able to constantly do mining? Are they going to allow us to buy it in game? Are they going to allow you to get it through subbing? Personally, I think they should give it to everyone permanently until the next patch but that's for me and, and they should give people we said this before on stream the other day which i think they should give people chips to test what's relevant cargo yeah. economy mining i don't think they should be given all the ships i just think they should be given the ships that are relevant for backing and, and, and helping cig build the, be- the best space game they can build that's what i think 
Uh, if you, if you back to the game and you're playing it now, you're a tester. You can be a backer and a tester. It doesn't. It's yeah. not mutually exclusive. Just saying, Detani. Um, if you're yeah. playing an alpha build of a game, it's a test build, and you're playing it. You're therefore a tester. Yeah. Um, we, they have they have a whole forum on spec. They have a full forum of, uh, a full forum on spectrum where they want us to give them feedback on bugs and things we find. They want us to approve the things that we see whether it's in ptu all the way through the live builds that's the whole point that's what you can do and if you do that through the live then you can become part of the evocati which they want as well people they want to get to find those people that want to who are really dedicated to finding bugs and fixes and and, and helping build the game testing q a moist is one of them aren't you moist you do it all the time what's that sorry you do testing. You do you do the the bug tests and stuff. You wanted to do Q and A, wasn't it? Uh, I really I really enjoy finding. Well, it's not necessarily yeah. finding the bugs. It's trying to find workarounds for the bugs that you come across. Is what yeah. I enjoy doing. Yeah. So and I don't necessarily do it on stream, but in my own time, I tend to. And Miz stuff. is you're Eva Carty, aren't you, Miz? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so he does it as well. And you did that and you gained access through that through the live build, right? Not through like PTU, through live build and putting in bugs, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, through uh, before we had PTU. Okay, so just think, from just from playing the game just and just by reporting playing stuff. the game and reporting errors, I think. Yeah, because yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I think I'm sure that's how it worked. First of all, it was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there you go. That's my point. That's that's we are right until beta, in my opinion. Even beta, even after even beta is still to do a degree. We're helping build the game, so they want our feedback. Yeah. So. That's why. Anyway, long answer to that one. Sorry. Uh, and that's the end of the questions. So. Cool. Excellent. So um, what's everyone up to, uh, Moist, apart from sleeping? What are you up to? Uh, oh, big, you, you, do, you to do you want to give everyone your big news, by the way? Um, I did mention it on my stream earlier today, but I'll, um, I'll mention it again. Yeah. So um, I met a lot of amazing people in the last week. And um, I'm obviously quite friendly with the few, and I friendly. He, um, friendly. but I've been asked to join uh, Space Bros, and I have um, accepted. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm the only British, maybe even European member of the Space Bros at the moment. But um, they kind of they nice. want to try and spread this schedule out a little bit uh, kind of to keep the host going all the way along the day but the the huge benefit for me is that i tend to do quite a lot of giveaways and financially it would help me because i'm kind of sharing the cost of the giveaway rather than trying to uh kind of do it all on my own sorry it's not a very exciting and glamorous way to to announce my joining the space <laughs> I'm just so tired right now. Uh, Sorry, boys. But, we, yeah. were, we were we were going to do a we were going to do a cyclone giveaway. Speaking of giveaways, but um, oh, we'll 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 do it. Save we'll do it, it another, for another day. day. I guess we'll save it for another but, day. Yeah. Hey, space bros. Woo! So anyway, so um, congratulations. Me and me and Miz are like good luck. good good luck to it. Good luck to joining. You know, we have people think like you know like we have guests from redacted we have guests from um, space bros we have guests from all over the place um it's not really a big thing we hope to have you on all the time anyway and continue our relationship having you on but you know good luck and uh yeah i will i will still be here uh in case anybody was worrying and vixton uh that's uh, shipping things across europe is part of my job in real life so that's definitely a conversation i'm gonna have with matauchi i know that space bros are very very keen to do hardware giveaways and even bigger hardware giveaways than they currently are we are i guess um <laughs> so uh by me obviously being here then uh that potentially does open that um that up to europeans which is nice right okay is it bedtime now <laughs> all, right. <laughs> Good stuff. all right um and then miz uh how about yourself what are you doing the rest of the week um Painting Pratt and Roll on Wednesday, hopefully. Um, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. It is. And then on Friday, more D&D. &D. Woo! Exciting. Yay! Um, and I'm Easter. hopefully going to start trying to do some gameplay stuff with Star Citizen. I haven't done it for so long. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Still trying. I need, like, I need to sort a lot of shit out with my stream, to be honest. So, <sighs> work, work, work. It's all good. good and that's so... me. And you? 
Um, I will be streaming when I can this week. I can't guarantee. Um, I will be waiting for my wife to give birth to my second child at some point in the next couple of you weeks. Might have a baby be... by next week. I could do. You never know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, they can just wait until after this Thursday. Would be great. Um, so I can get the floor <laughs> done. Um, uh, yeah, if you haven't hit the follow button, hit the follow button if you like what we do. Also, check out our um, YouTube channel. Subscribe to that if you want to do more than that. Okay, like like t-shirt. Want to do more? You can buy these cool T-shirts that I designed, the logos and other things that are on the um, the links that are there for the merchandise. You can also obviously become a patron or subscribe. All these things are really good. All the money you guys do comes back to what we do in terms of the stream and in, in terms of doing giveaways and all sorts of other things um, and improving the channel. So your support... Um, whether it be just follows financial with smallest penny to a pound whatever is massively helpful so um enjoy the rest of your evenings or, or days or wherever you are we will see you all in the verse and um have a great time uh playing star citizen and we'll talk to you soon good night Take folks care. good night thank everyone. you very much thanks for joining us sorry about the technical difficulties yes sorry about that it's goodbye one of those, goodbye one of those things um, actually, I just forgot we need to raid someone, don't we? Oh, that's just getting really awkward now. Goodbye. Yeah, just so, put on the other scene and just put on the starting soon stream and then we'll raid someone. We'll raid someone. Oh. <laughs>